I'll, I'll get a co hit with copyright infringement bullshit again. They hit me with copyright stuff every time. Enabled my flash. Whoa, that's bright. All right, let's go ahead and let's invite. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello. One second, I'm sharing, I'm sharing. He just burped. My kid is so gross. He just belched. Alright, just shared it, just shared it. Oh, 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 everybody's here, everybody's here. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, Mr. Tremaine, who I call Miss T. Tony. We are going to open yo box first. Yo box. And then we have another box right behind it. And we're going to open that too live. So we have two boxes. We just opened one on Facebook. And everybody got to see all the amazing goodies from Fizz the Love and Miss Rachel Babcock. I have all the bubble wrap and everything all over there. <laughs> have not had a chance yet to clean that all up. Um, we're just sitting in my living room going through boxes and things like that that came in throughout the week. And I have finally, finally had a chance to dig into everybody. So Richie has opened everybody for me. And we are going to dig in. From England. Woo! Boy, well, good afternoon. Well, hello from New York. <laughs> we are in the U.S. I couldn't find what I need to pack it nice. No problems. No problems. Um, there's a lot of companies that I can uh, forward you on to if you want help with that. Like uh, Paper Mart. Uh, papermart.com they're extremely cheap uh there's a few other places well hello 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 i'm just waiting for everybody to jump on so we can unpackage some amazing packages and there's my son in his diaper with his bottle sorry but say hi bug that's that's a nice way to say hi kid <laughs> it's the weekend so he's uh there, there you go niffler trying to shove stuff back down his diaper you gotta pick his diaper. Put his undies over his diaper. Maybe that'll help. He takes them off now, he knows. Oh, God. Finally, I haven't missed a live. No, you are here. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. From Texas. Ooh, man, I got everybody all over the place. Where is everybody from? Oh, I thank you. I love him, too. That's why I haven't traded him in yet. But there are some days where I have a giant box with a bunch of holes in it, and I threaten to mail him places. <laughs> We got UK. We got Colorado in the house. Let's see. Where, who else we got? Who else we got? We got some more UK. Hell yeah. Ontario, Canada. Damn, you are deep. <laughs> Ontario. Ontario. Okay. Richie corrects my grandma constantly. I'm not grammatically correct either. <laughs> and the grenade. Oh, wow. Georgia. Georgia. Georgia on my mind. I got that song stuck in my head as soon as somebody says Georgia. Uh -huh. Don't sing it, because I won't stop. Did you see my giveaway video? No, I have not. I didn't, for some odd reasons, I don't get notifications. And I know a lot of people don't get them from my videos either. I think I'm going to have to unsubscribe and resubscribe to certain people, so I can get the notifi- I unfriend you. <laughs> so I can get the notifications again. 1.22 in the morning in the UK. Oh, my lord. Wow, why are you awake? Also, Italy from my cousin. Italy, Italy that's Italy. a new one. Italy. Italy I'm from I'm from Sicily, originally. LS one. Oh, congratulations, LS. What? I thought you were going to No, LS. LS is her name. Oh. It's her her like you know handle for here. We all have different handles. I use my name just because. Why not? All right, guys. This is going to be the first one we're going to enter. Is everybody on? If everybody would do me a big old favor and push that like button whenever you get a free moment, I would greatly appreciate that. So let's dig in to El Box first. This is from Miss Tremaine, which I like to call her t -tony. Just Just because that's her name here, t -tony. Uh First thing I have here is a piece of paper with, oh, information. Okay. So here is, she wrote me down the information. Now, her shop is on Facebook. Uh, it is called Blessed Hands Bath Creation. If anybody wants a link to that, I will place that underneath this video once we are done. Blessed Hands Creation, Bath Creation, sorry, Blessed Hands Bath Creation on Facebook is where you can get a hold of Miss T. Tony's products. 
Blessed Hands bath, bath Creations on Facebook. Smaller one is for Biggie and the bigger one is for... Yes, okay. So the small one is for bugs and the bigger one is for me. So we have... Oh, stuff so this way it didn't get broken. Okay, let's get down. These are the bombs, right? Yes, these are the bombs. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, so this is... This is the one. Now, I can smell these without even ripping that box open. And then Richie, Richie ripped open the box and was like, holy shit. Oh, no, he got cracked. It's okay. He'll still function. Okay, so he got a little boo-boo. But, whoa, he is big. Oh, my Lord. Oh, wow. This, is, this smells like a stronger version of a bright side. Like a more sweeter version of a bright side. It is... Oh my god, okay, so it's lemon, orange, and, uh, let's see, sweet orange essential oil, Begermont, be be I can't say that word, Begermont. Oh, there's a surprise inside, okay, so that's probably what made it split, then, is that there is a surprise. Hello, Wayne, how have you been? Yeah, this guy is big, he's about a, a huge 10 to 12 ounce bomb, like, he's heavy. Uh, okay, so he has in him orange, sweet orange oil, ber Bergamot, I'll never be able to say that correctly. And I have a bad connection. Oh, no. Okay, there it goes. That's better. And uh, lemon essential oil. So these are all EOs. Um, I do not see fragrance oil anywhere on here. So these are all essential oils in this particular bomb. And then there is also a little one in here for the Boogmeister. So Boogie gets to have one of his own. He don't have to share with Mom because he's getting a little too big to share with Mom. So I cannot wait to throw that big ass one in the tub. So here is... Here is the mini! So it's a mama and a baby. And he too has that same smell. So he too is the same fragrance of the sweet orange oil, the bergamot oil, and the lemon essential oil. Bergamot and lemon essential oil. Gotcha. So here we go. So these are the two from Misty Tony. And if you'd like to jump on and check her out on her Facebook, have my 25th birthday party next Saturday. Well, congratulations and happy birthday! Uh, if you'd like to check her out, she is on Facebook. You can go jump on and check out her page right now. And she is... Oh, why, thank you. <laughs> she is Blessed Hands Bath Creation, Facebook.com. So just go right on Facebook. Go to Bleth, Be, uh, Blessed Hands Bath Creations. Say that ten times fast when you have a lisp. It, it's bad. No bugs. You cannot eat these. No, no. No, no. These are not to be eaten. No, no. No, no, baby. Yeah, I know. You want to touch. I know. Here, you can touch. You want to touch? Touch, but you can't have it. Ooh, that's nice. That's yours. Yeah, you going to take a bath? Okay, he's happy now. Let's not let him touch it too much. Okay, so we're going to put these in here. So once again, this was from Miss Tremaine T. Tony. And that was a bomb for Boogie, a bomb for me. And there is something inside this big old, big old, big old, big old bomb. Okay, so we are going to find out very shortly what is inside that big old bomb. Because I am intrigued and I love the smell of it. Thank you for all of the thumbs ups. I greatly appreciate those. Um, let me put this, the, the loose sleeve part in here to try and cushion so I don't. Okay. Woohoo! Read the comment she just posted. Read the comment. Blessed Hands Bath Creation on Facebook. Yes, baby, that one's next. That one's next, my love. Nope, you cannot have my scalpel. Babe, I need you to take the baby. Babe, take the baby. Babe, take the baby. You have coffee between your legs. Don't drop your coffee. All right, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Sir, this is not the boogie show. Niffler? Niffler? Niffler. No, Niffler. Okay, he's gone. Okay. <laughs> all right. So here I have another one. Let's pull this closer. Don't mind the little stains all over the hassock. That's due to the kid. So here is the second box. And this one is from... Oh, it's attached. Okay, oops. Thank you very much, Mr. Tremaine. They, they do smell incredible. I cannot wait to jump in on those. Tanglewood, 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 Tanglewood. Hello, Rage, hello, Shiny. Uh, we're so bizarre. Tanglewood Beth. This must be Pat. This must be Pat's company, Tanglewood. Oh, I wish she was on right now. <gasps> she sent me a sticker to go in my book. Sorry, I, I have like little scrapbooks that I keep of all like companies and stuff that I've reviewed, companies I loved, and I tend to either put their cards in it or things like that. And she sent me a sticker for it. I got a sticker. I'm so happy. 
Okay, so yeah. this here is from the Tanglewood Soap Company. <coughs> I believe this is Pat's company. Um, I met Pat here on YouTube, and we have been talking ever since. But the boogie show is cute, huh? Hi, Jules! Yeah, she, this is a nice presentation already. Oh, here's all the information. Wow. Wow, we got all kinds of information on each product, I guess. Yeah, this is like each product in here. Holy cow, there's two pages. If I could get them open. Okay, so the second one's not all that big. <laughs> there's not there's not all that much on that one. Sorry, the kid's crying. Uh, always free shipping. Anyone who orders after seeing, seeing your videos, put Corinne in the PayPal message box. And I'll throw in two free soaps. Oh, okay. So apparently, if you, uh, if here, I'll I'll show it to you. Apparently, yep, it's from Pat. So apparently, if you order from her and you put down my name, put down in the PayPal message box there, because I believe she just takes PayPal, um, she will throw in. It looks like two free soaps. Hmm. So you get two freebies. All right. Let's go through it now. I have held you in suspense long enough. All right, so, oh, wow. Holy cow, there's a whole, there's all kinds of literature written in here. My own sensitivities, the commercial shows. Um, tell you the truth, I'm not sure. She may be, I, I have not, I have not had a moment to look her up. All right, so this company developed due to her daughter having extreme sensitivity. Oh, look. It's a little charm. You even put that on a charm bracelet. That's cute. Her daughter had a sensitivity to regular commercial soaps, so she started making soap. I may have to put you guys down for a hot second. Okay. I got you on a tripod, so give me a moment. Okay. Let me just try and pull this open. Oh, wow, look. It even has a, a, melted, a wax melting thing. Let's just move it this way. There we go. Now we can get in. Okay, let me pick these back up. Sorry. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and open this. There are little stickers everywhere. Cruelty free. Made in the USA. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Holy cow. So this has a lot of... A lot of cushion here. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, wow. Babe, I'm going to need your help. We're live. We don't have a moment to wait. Oh, don't drop my stuff. Oh, wow. There is a lot of stuff in here. I did not expect this. Holy cow. Hello. Momo. I like I like your handle. Your YouTube handle. <laughs> Crafty Pink Pixie, how are you? I'm going to need you to take this off gently so it's not all over the house. Here, you can take it off on this. It'll come off on that, I believe. There you go. You got it? Yeah. All right. Just take that off. Hello, Jenna. All right. So we have all kinds of goodies in here. I'm probably going to have to break out the scalpel. Let's go into this one first. This one looks a little, looks like it may be easy for me to, wow, this is heavy. Oh my God. Oh my God. This has got to be like over, over a couple pounds here. Um, I don't, I don't know yet. I will find out. I will find out shortly. I promise. I will find out. Um, bath salt soak. Add to hot baths for relaxing, tired muscles, soothing, soothing and soothing the soul. Ooh. It's from the Tanglewood Soap Company. Tons in this box, man. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna... This may be a long live, guys, because I am gonna go through and open and see, you know, what it all looks like. This is a lot of salts, man. A lot of bath salts, which I left the thingy on so I can't open it. Oh, this is so hard to do one-handed. One-handed sucks! You're not helping me. Okay. Alright. Oh, wow! Look at them! Oh, they're so pretty! Oh, cool! They're like, almost glittery. Look at it! They're glittery! That's weird! That is so cool! I want to smell it. Look in there. I'm on my tripod. <laughs> oh, wow. This smells great. 
Okay, I now have to revert to the paper to find out exactly what the fragrance is for that. Here is the paper. Uh, but I do not see if it says Etsy just yet. I will find out, though. I bet you if you just Google it real quick, the Tanglewood... Here we go. Here we go. Um, here we have on tanglewoodsoapcompany.com. No, they are an independent. So www.tanglewoodsoapcompany.com independence. So here you go. They are independent. They are not through Etsy. So Miss Pat is independent. Okay, so this here is the bath salts. They are the Gumbo Yaya. Gumbo Yaya. Let's find Gumbo Yaya, and I will tell you what fragrance Gumbo Yaya is. That is definitely one you want. Bath soaks salt. Here we go. Our special blend of Dead Sea Salt. A oh no, bad connection. Hello, Mr. Twilight. And then in Mongolia and African violets with sweet orange blossom, apple slices, and red grapes. <gasps> oh my god, no wonder why that smells so damn good. But look, it's glittery. Look at all the different stuff. I think that may be like... Oh my god, that may even be soap in here as well. I have to scoop some out. Look, this may even be soap. Oh, we are so demoing this. It feels so soft. It feels like it may be like a soap involved in it. That is so cool. It's like mermaid salts. The smell is incredible. Uh, it's fuzzy. I keep getting bad connection on the front of my thing, so it may clear up, it may not. My apologies. Hi, Tony. Oh, man, I can't wait to do this. This is good. This smells very, very nice. Alright, so I'm going to close this up before I spill it everywhere. Okay, you went out and came back in. Mace, try going out and coming back in for me. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll work there. But did you hear me, Mace? They are an independent company. Right here on the back. It is tanglewoodsoaps.com. Tanglewoodsoapcompany.com. My apologies. So they are an independent company. They are not through Etsy. Okay, let's go to this other one that looks like a baggie. And let's see what's in this guy. What was my thing in there? Hold on. I thought that was a thing in there. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's soap. <laughs> Ew. Why would you smear banana all over my kid's face? I want a banana. What? I want a banana. Don't go get me a banana right now. I'm live. Don't tell your mom. I want Lisa. Where's Lisa? Take her out. Wow, I can't open this. Hold on. Oh, it's still tied. Duh. It's not Lisa's birthday right now. I miss The Simpsons. Who thought he was Michael Jackson? He wasn't retarded. He was crazy. My husband says such nice things, you know, like the fat retarded guy, or you know, he just he doesn't know how to talk to people. He really doesn't. Hello, Kristen. Oh, it's pouring out there. Okay, look, here's all the goodies we found. Yes, I would like Lisa if you want to take her out. Lisa is very fat and happy. She ate a mess load of crickets. She stole an orange. No. She oh my god. My orange out of my hands. Oh, she, she molested the orange out of his hands, apparently. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Trim your wick after every burn. No, it's not jam. You can't eat it. It's my candle. Look at this. He's already looking at... Pop this open for me. Never mind, I got it. He's already looking to eat my damn candle. <gasps> that is so adorable. Look. Don't go down here first. I want right. to smell this. Lisa. Look at it. Look at the in, the inner part and all the glitters. Come in, oh my god, it smells like Mommy, like a butterscotch in. buttercup. Butternut. Oh my god, that smells so good. I'm lighting that bad boy. I am so lighting this bad boy. Hello, Mr. Tony. How are you? <laughs> All right, we are lighting this bad boy right away, but let me go ahead and see. Oh, what's the top say? Maybe that says the fragrance on it. Southern Praline. Ooh, it smells like a butterscotch buttercup. There is your caution on the bottom there. Beautiful jar, a reusable jar when it's all finished. Ooh. This is really, really nice. All right, so they do everything apparently. Oh, here, just sit her down on the box or something. She's gonna crap in it. Don't crap in my box. Put her down right there. Just put her down. 
What's wrong with you? Where's her heating pad? Okay. Yeah, it smells. It's pra southern praline. It has like a butterscotchy cookie kind of mixture to it. It's really good. Her name is Tea Time. <laughs> okay, we're gonna call her Tea Time. What's wrong with her foot? This finger was broken. It looked like it's not broken. She has extra long no, alien one, fingers. It's not broken. This one's not like that. Yes, it is. They all bend funny. Hello, you fat girl. Hello, fat girl. I see you. Richie, who did not want the lizard at first, now loves the lizard. Well, she chose me. She shot on me. She shot on you? She Look how cute me. that is. Look. Look at that. With the little tea there and everything. This is a facial serum. I almost don't want to take it out because it's so beautiful, but I'm going to. I'm going to open it. Rich, I need you to open this for me. This. Is that a Buddha Yeah, we're trying to fish, but it's pouring out there. That's what going facial on. Facial scrum. So they... Serum. Facial serum. Aww. <laughs> That's cool that she did this wax. Isn't it cool? Alright guys, let's look in and let's find the facial serum here, and I'll tell you what it is created out of. And I will be putting that all over my face. I may be putting it on my bum as well, but we'll find out. <laughs> what do you want me to do with this one? Um, I want you open to it? open it, unravel Nicely? it. Yes. Oh, it's hot glued, sweetie. It's not hot glued, that's a wax, uh, thing. A wax I kind of melt. Nice okay, I tell you what, we will go through everything and then I will revert to the page and we can go through all these stuff, because she has a categorized soaps. Um, other items. Here is facial serum, facial serum. I got it, I got facial serum, it's right up here on top. So the facial serum, beneficial for so oil skin tights. You want the scalpel? And in line, leaves your skin like so. It's beautiful as a primer also. Ooh, apply makeup after. Serum is completely dry and no longer tacky. Ooh. Oh wow, look at all the stuff that's in it. Pea size amount. Quartz up. Scalpel. Scalpel. Don't stay in here. Sorry. You don't know how to handshake the people. I don't know how to handshake people. That's why I don't deal with people. Wow, that has got a lot of good items in that facial serum and I can use it as a primer which all of my primers don't work. I spend an immense amount of money on primers. None of them work. So I'm hoping this works. Okay, so here is another item. Wow. Everything kind of has its own little cushion. Like, see that? I like this stuff. This is good stuff. So let's go ahead and let's open this guy. What happened now? There we go again. Ah, uh, yes, he got it out. So here is the facial serum. What happened, Daddy? Very nice on the packaging. There we go. Thread evenly, oil on face. And yearly. Wow. Should we open it and check it out? You guys want to open it? I want to open it. But here, I'll let you guys look at the box for a minute while I go ahead and open this. It's T Tony. <laughs> she leaped off? Make sure she's okay. Put her back down. I can't put her on my shoulders with a tank top on. All right, guys, ready? We're gonna check this out. Oh wow! So a little pea size amount. I did too. And we're gonna go ahead and rub that in. Sorry if you guys are shaking. I got I'm holding you in between my legs. There you go. There you go. Google them real quick. I don't think she's bad on price. Oh, you're sick, you poor thing. Real nice. Smells really good. I'll say that. It smells really good. It's got a lot of nice, nice properties to it. Doesn't feel sticky or tacky on my hands. This is actually some pretty good stuff. I'm going to use this for a good two weeks straight, and then I will come back and let you guys know how this worked. So a good two weeks straight, I'll go with that, and then I will let you guys know how it does. Here we go with another one. Where's the scalpel? They're so beautifully packaged, I hate to do this, but for, like, viewing purposes, I have to, I have to get in here. All right, so another one done. I love that she put the wax, the wax on all of it. Like, I love that. Okay, what is this? What is this box? Sorry, if I miss your comments, guys, I apologize. It's just because I'm trying to get into the boxes. 
<gasps> soap! My best friend. <laughs> soap is my life. I love my soaps. Oh wow, each and every one of them is labeled and oh my god, I see, I see gold. I see glitter. Okay, let's look at the first one. Wow, bamboo grapefruit. This is a handcrafted artisan goat's milk soap, four ounces. Glitter. And here we go with the company name and here is your ingredients. Wow, not many ingredients. That's actually pretty damn good. And it is impressioned with their company impression. With the bird and everything. Let's smell this. Can I smell this? Mm, hold on, I can't smell it through the package. Where's my damn scalpel? Scalpel! Okay, so, and then I will go through and I will revert back to the paper. Oh, it's actually wrapped twice. Okay, I did not see that. Wow, this is some good old wrap, man. Holy cow. So, I gotta say, this company... Damn, that smells damn good. Wow, that smells really good. And this was the grapefruit and what again? Bamboo grapefruit. This is nice. It's like fresh and sweet all in one. Definitely would not would not pinpoint the smell for this product. But I definitely do like the smell. We're going to have to demo this on camera and see how it works in water. Next one we have here, which is absolutely beautiful. No pile driving him. Ooh, eucalyptus spearmint. This is one of my absolute most favorite smells. And the original eucalyptus spearmint soap, sorry, I'm trying to hold you guys still, that I have gotten uh, was from my Country Market Crafts company that I love so much. I'm going to rip it open and smell it. And I have absolutely fallen in love with hers, so let's see if this one measures up. I love the eucalyptus spearmint smell. I like spearmint fragrances. I really do. And the eucalyptus is a nice, fresh, clean bit to it, so... Mmm, yeah. This is definitely, this is, this is just as good as Country Market Crafts. I'm definitely enjoying this. Definitely. Look at all the glitter. Look at all the glitter. Just as good as the Country Market Crafts one. Oh, this is really good. Really, really, really good. So if you are into the spearmint and eucalyptus just as much as I am, definitely check that out. No pile driving him. <laughs> it's 20 for the serum? Okay, that's not that bad because that's a big old bottle. You do get a big old bottle. It is... Oh, wait. This one says on it 12 for it. This one says 12, so this is just a 30 mil bottle. So this is a one ounce bottle. So I guess she has it in different, uh, different what's names, because it's got a little $12 price tag right here. So she must have it in, like, different sizes. Okay, so here is the really gorgeous... One, Pink one. Two. What is it called? Uh, facial serum. That's that's what it says on it. Just facial serum. And this one has a twelve dollar sticker thingy on it. See it right there? Twelve. It's kind of hard because of my light. I'm trying to get out of the light. I kind of can't. But it just says facial serum. Tanglewood Soap Company. Uh, oh, rose hip and hibiscus. Okay, that's what I can't see. Rose hip and hibiscus. My light is like blurring it badly. There you go. See it? Yeah, this, this eucalyptus experiment is awesome, and I've only found a really good, good, good one. Okay, so it's 14 online. All right, good. That's not that bad at all. Hydrated Artisan. This is Kiss and Tell. Ooh. I almost want to open this one completely, because look how pretty it is. <laughs> Amazing. You're, you're a hot mess, man. The Tanglewood. Here, it's right down here. Tanglewoodsoapcompany.com <laughs> Tanglewood Soap Company, Pat, she's here! <laughs> well, hello! We are digging through your box right now, and we are pleased, readily pleased with everything that we are finding. Readily, readily pleased. Oh my god, am I happy. I almost want to open this one completely just to look at it because it's so beautiful. Okay, so this is the Kiss and Tell one. It's the Soap Cell Marketplace Macy. Okay. Oh, this one I really do like. This is really nice. This is almost like a perfumey type smell. I'm really liking this one. 
I really, really, really... So this one, I think all three of the soaps are amazing. I did not expect the bamboo and grapefruit to mesh together so well, and it does. The eucalyptus spearmint, the only other place that I have found... What's up, Shauna? The only other place that I had found a good one, don't sing, was um, Country Market Crafts, and now I have found one to match. So definitely the eucalyptus and spearmint is right up there. Hell yeah. Packaging is game right on. Loving the packaging. I hate to have to, like, cut it open, but, you know, <laughs> I gotta get into it. Uh, we are good for tomorrow. Hell yeah, Pinkies is opening tomorrow. It was gonna go up today, but I had a few more items that I want to throw up. So Pinkies is opening tomorrow, and then I will be adding items over and over and over again. So this way, you know, more items will be going up throughout the week. Because I have more stuff that I need to finish up this weekend. More soap! More soap! Yes, yes, yes. More soap. We got more soap. I love soap. Clean cotton. Hell yeah. I'm a big fan of clean cottons. Uh, what, are you... You cannot have my soap. <laughs> but I could use your help here if you want to come and help me. What? I, I can use your help. Can you sit right there for a moment? Just slip these open so I can smell them? Um, what? Can you open these? Um, See what I'm doing here? I'm just putting a slit in it and uh, just opening it to smell it. Alright, so the kid does not have to be monitored 24-7. He's okay. What? Wow, this is amazing. This is a... Best bonds be sent out tomorrow. Oh, on Monday now. Yes, Pinkies is set up to launch tomorrow. <laughs> T says, hello. 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 I gotta say, this one is incredible. This, Ooh, this I think, has to be my absolute most favorite scent. For a clean, cottony type smell, like a clean laundry type scent, I love this, and I love laundry smells. Yes, I will be linking this company in my Dropbox. At the end of this video, because we're live right now, you can't do a linking before, I will be linking this company. And you will be able to find it anytime you please. Ooh, patchouli passion. Now, I will say, I am not a... Where'd you open it? Oh, there it is. I'm not a fan of patchouli on a normal day, but I have been wowed since. I actually like the way this smells. Patchouli passion is not a kick-you-in-the-face patchouli smell. I really like the way this smells. Look at the bar. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Look, I love that she's got her impression. What are you doing, Faith? Absolutely beautiful. So it's not a straight kind of patchouli smack you in the mouth like karma from lunch. It's patchouli mixture, really nice, really pretty, really like it. Mmm, man, that smells good. The clean cotton bar is just a really pretty glittery white bar. It's beautiful. Look at it. It's almost perfect for, like, wedding favors. This would make amazing wedding favors. Or, like, bridesmaid, you know, in the hotel type, uh, you know, night of type deal. Like, give it all to all your bridesmaids, things like that. Oh my god, this is so good. I think this has got to be my favorite one. Alright, so we got more. We got... Babe, 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 babe. Get the kid out of the toy. You having fun, buddy? Yeah, packaging, man. You, you are on point. Where's the other bar that was in here? Oh, was it just the two ones in that one? Yeah, I didn't open that yet. I didn't know if you wanted to open Okay, yeah, I need them all open. Oh, I don't know what you wanted to introduce Bugs, first. you're playing by yourself. So he's going to have to play on his own. You need to learn how to speak in English, because I don't know what Misha Mancha means. It's uh, actually a combination between, uh, yeah, it's too complex for the human mind. I know, bro, I'm sorry. Oh, Candace, I don't think I'm going to sell out fast at all. I'm not worried about that. I don't, I don't even think I'm going to sell out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Tanglewood has got me hooked. I gotta tell you, Pat has Pat has kicked ass on everything that I have smelled so far. You have to open it so I can smell it. Come on, let's get the game going. Faster, 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 faster. People want to be entertained. They don't want to hear you say, ooh, nice, ooh, I like it. No, they want to see it. Listen, you <laughs> Don't cut the tops. I'm cutting the sides. All right, because the tops are too pretty. I can't do it, can't do it myself. You have to do it. You can, yeah, you can cut the back. There you go. And just open it a little bit so I can get a whiff of it. There we go. All right. All right. So we got this one here, which is the 
<laughs> yeah, Richie's just not YouTube celebrity material now, sorry. <laughs> All right, Richie, <laughs> this is Sea Salt Bar. The Sea Salt Bar. Once again, very beautiful. You can't keep that one. Mmm, this smells nice. This again is another nice, fresh fragrance. Oh, yeah, I'm really liking this. All right, so this is the sea salt one. So this one has in it a texture feel. So there is salt in this one. Okay, so here you go, the sea salt bar. So this is a nice exfoliating bar. It's on 94, it's on 18, how's that? Excuse me? It was just on 94, it's on 18. What, your phone? Yeah. You were playing a game. Ooh, look I at this one. Played one round. Look at that. Does that say Creole? Yeah. That Creole. says Creole, right? Creole. Like Creole, like Bayou yep. Creole, yep. French yep. Creole. Yep. 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 Oh, wow. Okay. So that one is Creole. Creole. Look how pretty. Thank God he split the bags open for me. <laughs> oh, this is different. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. This is almost like a citrus peachy type smell. This one's really nice. Now this one reminds you of a bath product. Now I always tell you guys, there are certain products that you just know are supposed to be bath. Creole is one of them. We're gonna go through the, the all the scents and all the descriptions and everything as soon as we're done looking at everybody. Give me a minute to get through everybody. Wow, that's really pretty. Look at that. Blue Jean Blues, this is the one that Richie wants to keep. Let's see if I'll part with it. Oh, Richie, you're beat. It's like a clean fragrance. Oh, it's, it's like a clean, fresh fragrance. Like, it literally kind of smells like freshly cleaned blue jeans. Like, you know, you pull them out of the washer and the dryer. Like, wow. I have two chargers over here. This is good. This is good. Look how pretty this is. This is the one that Richie wants to steal. Um, I do not think he's going to get it. No, that's mine. Sorry. $125 a week budget for bath goodies? Woo! I can so direct you in the proper way to spend that $125. <laughs> Honey, you didn't open the packages for me. Who cares if your phone's dying? Yeah, but you don't need it right now. Here we go. Oh, you just have somebody trying to push a kitten onto you. Golden Globes. Oh, wow! That is awesome! That is so cool! That is so freaking awesome! I'm having a hard time getting in here, Rich. I gotta get my other tripod going, the one that's bigger and longer. So that way I can, uh... What are you doing? Excuse me. Okay. So here, I get to show them to you. Little black dress. Wow, little bright black dress is beautiful. Holy cow, okay, trade me out. This one here is Dixie Queen. Dixie, the heart of Dixie. Look at the top on that one, I love all that. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. <clears throat> oh, this one is something, it's some sort of blossom, yep. This has got some sort of blossom flower in it that I very readily, I, I have smelled. Sorry if you hear the noise, that's me breathing, trying to trying to get a whiff, sorry. This, this has some sort of like, it is some sort of like lilac blossom or some sort of thing that I am, I am so familiar with, but I will go through the paper as soon as we're done. That one is a good one, definitely a good one. Ooh, lavender rose. Ooh, look! It's got a little bud in it. Oh, it's got a little rosebud. I love the way the tops look. They look like they're going to be, like, creamy, you know? Wow, look at all the purple through it. Okay, let's get a whiff. Lavender rose. Wow. I think lavender rose is really good. Rachel! Lavender rose is definitely a good one. Definitely. Oh, he's exhausted. That's why he's, he's fussy right now. He won't go to sleep. He's trying to keep... We're trying to keep him awake to put him back on a nice schedule to where he sleeps at night. A little black dress. This is the one that I really like. Let's smell it now. Stop eating my shoulder, please. Spicy little meatball. Well, okay. <laughs> Ooh. 
This is nice. This is like a nice light kind of perfume-esque smell. I like Little Black Dress a lot. I didn't think I was going to like Little Black Dress. I like it. I kind of really like the way this smells. This is going to... Man, I'm praying to God this lingers afterwards. Because this would be a really nice kind of like, you know, maybe like lotion smell. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and get into the... I believe we have one thing, I one item left here. Then that is this baby. Okay. So... Oh, is Little Black Dress a perfume as well? Okay, this is the Tanglewood Soap Company. Okay, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Tanglewoodsoapcompany.com And wait till you see. I will put everything back into, like, in the box so you guys can see it. Wait till you see all these goodies. Like, amazing, amazing, amazing. Sorry, guys. It's a little unorthodox to be doing it without my big old tripod where I can do it. Hmm. Okay, so that's why I love that smell. Because it smells like it should be a perfume, you know? It has that smell. Ooh. What is this we see? A goat, goat's milk lotion. Oatmeal milk and honey. Ooh, I like that smell. I have smelled oatmeal milk and honey. Yes, I did. I actually opened Titoni's earlier and we're gonna demo Titoni's uh very shortly and i'm gonna show you the big old big old big old bomb how do i i gotta hey, babe cut this open for me just the top here so i can uh i can use it and give it a good shake for me anytime you guys get a lotion or anything no take it in your hand cut it open and give it a nice little shake anytime you guys get a lotion or anything of the sorts always give it a little shake because in mailing and processing they can um they can settle a little bit so you always want to give them a nice little shake and I will start laying everything back in so I can show you guys everything. And then we can go through all the all the information. Creole is amazing. Dixie Queen is amazing. I gotta say, man, these soaps, these soaps are no joke. I am liking these soaps. Eucalyptus spearmint, I'm loving. Okay, so here we go. Milk and honey. Flip top. Let me go ahead and squeeze a little bit on my hand. All right, let's put you here. So, a little bit on the hand. We'll smear it all in. Corinne, I'm finally expanding my horizons. Well, good. I'm glad you are. Hold on, I'm going to rub it on my arm, too. All right, so the smell is incredible. The oatmeal, milk, and honey smell is amazing. It almost smells a little marzipan ish. Oh, it's got glitter in it. Oh, look. I glitter. It's such a light, subtle glitter, but I glitter. I actually think I may enjoy this one better than I like my Visca Sense one. It's very soft. It's very nice. It's seeping in really nice. It seeped into my hand. It's very subtle with the glitter. So I'm loving the glitter. Anything that puts glitter on you, I love. It seeped into my arm nicely, and it feels like there's like a barrier on you now. It feels like there's a, like, a nice, soft, smooth protectant. I don't know how to, how to put that, but it feels really nice. So goat milk's goat milk's lotion, goat milk lotion is a definite two thumbs up for me. And plus it has glitter in it. I'm shiny. Look, I'm shiny. It's so subtle. See it? See my hand right here? It's so subtle, I love it. I'm liking this. I love the smell. Yeah, I definitely like the smell. That's a 100 percent I'm so shiny. <laughs> that song from the crab from the Mahana movie. Clean Cotton is one of my absolute most favorite. I'm really loving the patchouli passion one because it's not a kick you in the face patchouli. Coiled <laughs> dial oatmeal. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what that means, <laughs> Pat, but... But I likes it. I do likes it. I likes it a lot. And the bamboo grapefruit, I did not expect that to be such a great mixture. I didn't think it was going to be, and it really, really is. The sea salt bar, I cannot wait to use. I am a fan for an exfoliant item. If it is an exfoliant, I am all over it. The blue jeans, which Richie wants, which he will not be getting. And then we also have this amazing want-to-eat-it candle. Finely ground oatmeal. Okay, no glitter. 
So that's what that is? That make, that gives it that shiny look? It's finely ground oatmeal? Are you serious? That is awesome! Oh my god! That is so weird! Holy cow! That's what's giving it that look of like, it looks like, it looks like, like almost like a glitter shine, like a luster shine. That is insane! Beatles, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get hit with copyright now. <laughs> Every time one of Boogs' songs or movies or something are on, they slam me with a copyright hit. Oh, that's right. I may have had some glitter on me from the soap. Okay, so that may be it. And she was kind enough to give me the sticker for my book and her business cards. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go through. There we go, business cards. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go through um, all these scents and everything. <laughs> You're going to have to wash six times a day for the rest of the year. You know, in all honesty, Mace, these bars will be gone within a week. Within a week. Here is Little Black Dress, which I really, really, really love. So let's sneak him in there. And then the Facial Serum, which I have gotten a kick out of because I really like the way that feels. And then one of my absolute most favorite, favorite, favorite items here. The Bath, sal the bath Salt Soak. The smell is incredible. It's got the little the little soaps in it. That this might be where the glitter came from. Okay, this might be where the luster came from. This is it. This is where it came from. So put this guy up here. He's heavy as hell, man. He smells incredible. And then I have my pouch. I keep my pouch. He's gonna go into the special special box too. Okay. Wow. But tell you the truth, Mace, I will go through all these soaps in I'd say about a week. Just about a week. Is that everybody here? Because there was a whole lot of bodies here. A whole lot of bodies. Holy cow. All right, so let's go through some of the scent descriptions here that we got going here. And then I will re-give you the uh, information on how to get yourself some soap uh, with your order. Okay, so the Lavender Rose is the lavender fragrance with a touch of vanilla, fresh-picked fresh picked roses. Uh, it's very soft and feminine. Yeah, it is. It is a very soft, feminine smell. I really do like that. I need to slowly enjoy. <laughs> I can't help it. When I take a bar of soap into a bath, I will com like completely keep reusing it and reusing it and reusing it. I know, right? The person at the friggin' older dress is probably like in awe and happy and oh my God. Like they are probably smelling so amazing right now. You know, all I gotta do is go find out who lives at that older dress and just start sniffing around and be like, you got my box, damn it. <laughs> I just gotta smell them. Okay, so Lavender Rose, and yeah, Mace, as soon as I get in the tub, I will lather repetitively. I'll, I'll do it on the wash rig, I'll do it on the loofah, I'll do it on my body, over and over and over again until the bar is like yay big, and then I feel happy. <laughs> I'll go beat them up for it. <laughs> okay, so we did Lavender Rose, and that is the uh, Lavender with Rose and a touch of vanilla to it. The Eucalyptus Spearmint, which is one of my absolute most favorite smells is the uh, eucalyptus, obviously, and spearmint, fresh citrus, lemon, lavender flowers, and a hint of sage. Really, really nice. Uh, Creole. Creole is Valencia orange, sparkle, sparkling bar bergamot. There's that word again that I can't say. Tangerine zest, neroli, chili pepper, and musk. It's fruity and sassy, and it is. It does have that fruity kind of sassy -ish smell sassy sassy-ish smell to it i really do like that dixie queen <laughs> everybody's gonna go kick their ass for the other box <laughs> um let's see oh dixie queen here he is clean and refreshing tropical rainforest lush florals and greenery very yeah very descriptive of what it actually is that is that is what it smells like 100 percent Creole, like French Creole from the, the French quarters oh. in Louisiana. Creole. No. It's a, it's French, you know, Creole. That's why it sounds familiar. <laughs> you, you, yeah. oh, Mace. <laughs> you need a nap, Mace. Okay, so. Thank you, guys. Yeah, she's located in Louisiana. That's why French Creole popped up. Okay, what are we up to now? Kiss and tell. This one's really good. A blend of purple passion fruit, uh, Tuscan grapes, 
No, we don't do that. I can't say this word. F phony? Pony? Pony, right? Pony? Phony? I think it's pony. Is it a fish? No, it's it's like the French Quarter in Louisiana, where it's the the culture, French Creole heritage culture. You know, like like that. How do I explain that? Um, Pat, how do I explain what Creole what Creole means? Like you ever hear you ever see the Disney cartoon? Um, <laughs> I, I'm, no, no, I'm trying Heritage Bloodline. Yeah, it, it's like a it's a it's like a culture. You know, it's like. Like, my dad was French Creole, and, uh, well, his family was French Creole, and Sicilian. So, you know, that's how, that's kind of, kind of how, I don't know, Mace, you, Mace, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> Creole is Creole. <laughs> Real Louisiana nachos? No, it, it's a, yes, the Frog Prince. Yes, Rachel, okay. Did you ever see, yes, Tony, yes. Jermaine, you got it. Did you ever see the Disney cartoon Frog Prince? It takes pa place in Louisiana. And the little little cricket guy is from the bayou. And he speaks in the French Creole kind of dialect with a heavy, thick accent. He speaks in... You know, he's, he's French Creole, so he speaks it. What's the name of the nachos at my favorite bar? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? <laughs> You gotta watch the Frog Prince Prince uh, Disney movie with the kids, and then you'll know exactly. Yes, the Firefly. Yes, he speaks with a thick French Creole accent. That's why I knew the name. Oh, okay. That's why you recognize the name. This nachos. <laughs> yeah, you just made my day, Mace. You really did. <laughs> yes, Mama Odie. She's got it too. I love that movie. That is my favorite movie. You know, that is the only black Disney princess. That they ever put out. And I think that movie was a 100% hit. I loved it. I loved every bit of it. Okay. So let's keep on going here. Now that Macy's got me cracking up. She's like, oh, that's the nachos. <laughs> Alright, so we did the little black dress. Oh, man. Right? We did little black dress. We are up to... Uh, what are we up to? What are we up to? No, little black dress we did not do. Okay, little black dress is... Uh, right? Now I'm starving. Babe, what do we got to eat? Shit with hair on it. Shit with hair on it? No, thank you. Can you warm my coffee back up, please? I'll eat that. <laughs> yes, that soundtrack was awesome. But I love that dragonfly. Okay, Carrie, I love you. I'll talk to you later. I love that dragonfly. He was the best. He was. He He made that movie. I'm sorry, he did. Him and Mama Creole were amazing. Is it Ma it's not Mama Creole. What was it again? Mama Mama what? Let me go back up. Mama Odie. Mama Odie. That's what it was. Mama Odie. Alright, so Little Black Dress is... This is why I love it so much. The carnation smell. I like the smell of carnation. So it's carnation... Here, oh, let me show you. I'm so sorry. I'm not showing you guys. I'm showing you guys the product here. See, there's Little Black Dress right there. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful bar of soap as well. So Little Black Dress is carnation, blood orange, sandalwood, black rose... Smoky wood, patchouli, vanilla bean, with, and a comment covered it, hold on. <laughs> vanilla bean, velvety amber, and the tiniest touch of Egyptian musk. I'm a big fan of Egyptian musk. I, I like that. Okay. What, Egyptian musk? Yeah. I like I like white musk, oh, too. I'm, sorry, I'm thinking of Jovian musk, the, the, like, the dollar, eight milliliter, $800,000 milliliter bottle. Eight hundred thousand dollar milliliter bottle. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. He don't like the smell of Giovanni musk or something that his mom used to wear. That's what he's trying to say. All right. So patchouli passion is a scent of crushed patchouli leaves with a hint of neroli sandalwood. And wait, 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 wait. Neroli sandalwoods entangled in agave nectar and orange blossoms. All right. So I'm a huge fan of orange blossoms, and I've never really smelled the agave nectar. I think that's really nice. But I definitely do like patchouli passion because it's not a patchouli smacky in the mouth type smell. It's not a straight out, you know, patchouli scent. It's mixed and it's mixed properly, you know, like it's mixed the right way. Clean cotton, my absolute most favorite one here. It, 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 this has got to be my absolute most favorite because I love the laundry type smells. Clean cotton blossoms. So it's cotton blossom. Uh, I don't know that word right there. See that word? Silomen? Si Silomen? Silomen, African violets, tuberose, baby powder, jasmine, 
Oh, and that's it. Okay. So I love that clean cotton smell. I think that's really good. And bamboo grapefruit. Bamboo grapefruit. Did not expect that to mix well together when I read it. Really, really, really good. Yeah, I'm not a big patchouli fan, but I really like that one. And I think because it's nothing like Lush's Karma scent. I hate that scent. It's nothing like it. It's actually like a... It's like, that's the way a patchouli fragrance should smell, you know? It shouldn't just be straight patchouli smack in the mouth type smell, you know? Okay, so we have here clean cotton, bamboo, bamboo and grapefruit. Okay. Incredibly clean, fresh scent with grapefruit, tangerine, mandarin, mimosa. Comment blocked it. Hold on. Bamboo and juniper. Oh, I got you. Juniper. Oh. oh, the karma fragrance? Yeah, I don't like that at all, man. I don't know what it, what it is. I don't mind the lotion. I don't mind the powder. But I cannot handle the soap, the solid perfumes. I just don't like it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the blue, the blue skies and fluffy white clouds either. There's a lot of lush fragrances I don't like. And then when people say patchouli... I, all of a sudden, my brain goes straight back to that karma smell, and I'm like, ew, I hate patchouli. But technically, I actually really do like patchouli if it's done properly. And this is done right. Did you lay that kid down for a nap? No, he's out. He dead fished. He dead fished? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. That's it. We're going to be awake all friggin' night. Thank God I got a chance to no, sleep I today. He he's not going down for the night, honey. Uh, yeah, What's for dinner, babe? Um, he ate a sandwich, didn't he? That's a sandwich is dinner? Break out the tomato sauce. Let's have some pasta. Alright. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Now we are moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Yeah, exactly. Like, a lot of the lush scents, I'm not a fan of. Um, like, the Karma, if I'm going to use Karma in a bath, I have to mix it with stuff to lighten it. Because it's just too kicky in the face obnoxious. So I gotta change it, and I gotta make it something different. And then, it's good, then I like it. This, your patchouli and some other patchoulis that I have smelled and other companies, things like that, they're mixed, so they're they're actually good, you know? There's something I would purchase again. Chicken, mac, and cheese, and rice. That's two starches. You're supposed to have one starch, not two. But chicken, mac, and cheese, and rice sounds pretty damn good right about now. Mac and cheese sounds good right about now. I want some macaroni and cheese. I want some of the ghetto old, you know, 96 cent container of box macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I don't feel like making uh, making a real macaroni and cheese right now. I'll eat it from the box. Um, what about the clean bamboo? Patchouli. Here's the clean cotton. The bamboo grapefruit. Incredibly fresh, clean grapefruit. Okay. 97% um, of luscious stuff. Yes, Go citrus, down. citrus, Go citrus, down. citrus, citrus, yes. She's gonna jump. You're gonna hurt yourself. Philly shakes steak and cheese egg roll? Ugh, that don't sound good. <laughs> now, I like the original egg rolls, like, um, from the Chinese food place. I'll eat those, but I, I've never had a Philly cheesesteak one. Uh, blue jeans. This is the one Richie wants me to do. He loves the blue jean one. No, this one I want. Okay, now listen to this. This soap. It went to the. It was in the. Uh, you know the bags they give the celebrities afterwards when they leave the Golden Globe, Golden Globe Awards. Well, a hundred of these soaps went into the celebrity gift bags. So Blue Jean Blues was actually given to a hundred celebrities at the 2016 Golden Globe Awards. Now that man, if you don't call that an accomplishment, I don't know what the hell is. Alright, so this is a complex blend of fresh breeze, lemon, lime, uh, I don't know what that word is, Silomon, si Silomon, water lily, sweet amber, and sheer musk. That is an absolutely amazing smell. These mixes are incredible. I'm really liking these mixes. Okay, and then the last one is the soap, the sea salt soap, which I really like that as well. I'm a sucker for exfoliate in bulk. Cy... Cyclamen. Cyclamen. Cyclamen? I tell you what, you guys see it right there. Cy Cyclamen. I'm going to try and say that later. <laughs> what I got to do is I got to look it up on Google and have them say it, and then I can repeat it. Yes, okay, I got it right. No, it's not a manly fragrance at all, but it's a unisex. It's definitely... Every fragrance in here, except for I'd say maybe Black Dress, I would say would go unisex. Every fragrance. Even the Lavender Rose, I would say, is a fragrance. 
is, is a unisex fragrance. I would tell you what, Hubby, definitely I would go with Creole. I would go with the Bamboo Grapefruit, the Patchouli Passion. If he likes clean scents, the clean cotton, the eucalyptus mint is a definite. And the sea salt as well as, what was the other one? The other one, the other one, the other one. There was one more that could definitely go men, but I can't remember which one it is. Let's just do it this way. I would even say the Lavender Rose would be men too. But, oh, Dixie Queen. Dixie Queen, Creole, um, Eucalyptus Spearmint, Clean Cotton, Patchouli, Bamboo, Grapefruit, Sea Salt, I would definitely say can all be men. I would definitely, definitely say that could all be men's fragrances. Without a doubt. Blue Jean, definitely. It can be a men and it can be a woman. But I think majority of these soaps are a unisex. I'm really, I'm, if Richie wants to use some, he's going to have to ask me to shave him off a piece because I don't share soap. I have this big thing with not sharing soap because think about the last thing he washes and the first thing you wash. I'm not washing my face with your ass. So <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it. Okay, so here is the bath, the bath salt soak that I am in love with. Our special blend of Dead Sea Salt and the specific blend salt, wait, salt scented in, okay, here it is, Mongolia, African violets, sweet orange blossom, apple slices, and red grapes. That is the wow shit. That is good. That is a, that is this big bag right here. That, and it's heavy as hell. That, I, I'd pay 50 bucks for that bag just to have that smell all over me. I love that. I really do. And then, then the goat, the goat, goat milk lotion. Sorry. I'm having a hard time speaking lately. There you go, Mace. Okay, our fabu fabulous lotion is scented in oatmeal, honey, and milk. Oh, oatmeal, milk, and honey. Absorbed super fast, non greasy. It, exactly, it's not greasy at all. Uh, but for wonderance, and it is used for itchy, irritated skin. Yes, perfect. Yeah, it actually it, it went straight in. It's nice and soft. It almost feels like I have a nice barrier. I have it on my arm as well. It feels great. I gotta say, the lotion is a definite hit. And then also here. Now, here is the thingy. When you go to purchase, there is a little way that you can get yourself some freebies with your order. <laughs> box mac and cheese. <laughs> I love box mac and cheese, though. Okay, so here it says, anyone... Yeah, not is not slimy at all. I hate snotty lotion. <laughs> I don't like slime. I don't like slimy shit either. Uh, uh, just so happens, Lush lately has been putting out a lot of slimier lotions, and I'm kind of not ordering lotions from them any longer, due to that. You know, due to that, I, I feel like I'm getting burned paying all this money for a special lotion, and then it's gross. So, or it's watery and slimy. I I don't want that. I want a lotion that is like this. That is thick goes on smooth and it's not it's not like gross you know okay so let's look here we it says anyone who orders after seeing your video and they put Corinne in the little PayPal message box in your comment section they will receive two free soaps in their order ooh Macy Macy so all you gotta do ooh we crumble bacon in it damn man man why are you gonna make me hungry so, uh, macaroni, cheese, and bacon. Uh, soap. No, not in soap. In, ba in macaroni and cheese. You Lolo. Macy, this one you would do. This one you would definitely do. It's not, um, it's not a grease. It's not a heavy. It's just like, and it feels like you have a nice, soft kind of barrier on you. So it feels like it's very protectant. The candle, I gotta say, is outrageous. I want to light that bad boy right now, but unfortunately I have a fan going, so I'd have to put it behind my fan. Can you light this candle for me and put it behind the fan on the table? Mm -hmm. So it can blow out? Okay. It's praline. It's uh, uh, like the stuff Daddy brought me back from Louisiana before he died. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hang on a second, I'll give it to him. Here is the candle. Did I show you guys what the inside of the candle looks like? So this is the Southern Praline. Which my dad brought me back before we passed. A mess load of the praline. Um, they're like grasshoppers. What do they call them? Turtles? You know, it's got all the pralines and uh, all the sugar and stuff in it. So he brought me back a bunch of those. But look at the way that looks. That is so pretty. Isn't that beautiful? 
Look at the shine. Lush lotions and 10 pounds and even Bath and Body Works is even worse. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I have not been happy. Oh my god, this smells like... I want to eat this. If I could take a spoon to it and just eat it, man, who I would. But I'm going to have him like this for me right now. Okay, wicker shrimp. Baby, put this behind the table of the fan right there so the smell blows through the fan. Then we can smell it. So here you go. I look like a hot mess, but I might spin you guys around so you can take a look at me. There you go. So we can talk for a little bit. Uh, you see my Lulus? Oh, wait, let me straighten my leg. Look. These are my Lulus. My Lularoo leggings. They feel like butter. Sorry. I really like them. I want to go film a bath. I think... We're going to do T's Big Bomb first, and then we're going to... Oh, good, he's got it lit. Okay, now the rest of my house looks a little shitty right now, because mind you, this is only the transitional apartment until we move again. But he's got it lit right there behind the fan <laughs> that we kind of, like, broke and destroyed, but figured why throw it out and buy another one, because it's still functioning. I don't know why. I we like still increased it to a different speed, too. <laughs> yeah, we need to definitely chuck this fan and get rid of it. Chuck it. But I got it lit right behind it, so that way it, uh, it'll it fragrant and blow. And that's all the kids' toys, and all my boxes for all my stuff, and my filing cabinet, and my lizard, and my fish. <laughs> Which soap am I going to use first? I want to use clean cotton first. I definitely do. I think clean cotton is going to be the one I go for first. Because I'm loving the smell. Anything that smells like... this, It literally smells like... Just taken out of the dryer. Like, laundry just pulled out of the dryer. I love that. It reminds me of, like, being a kid. And, like, when my dad used to pull all the laundry out of the dryer, he would throw it on top of me. And it was so good. Like, on a really cold, freezing day, and you're, like, three years old, and your dad throws it on top of you. It just, like, it looks like it should be, like, a wedding favor. Because look how pretty this looks. Yeah, yeah, the silver on top. <laughs> it reminds me of, like, going into, a, like, a wedding favor box. Or, like, the... Like I was saying, the, the bag that you would give, like, all your bridesmaids if you had to, like, put them in, up in a hotel or something. And you would give the, give them, like, a little bag the night before with, like, I don't know, a little pair of earrings to wear the, the day of the wedding. And, like, soaps and things like that so they can pamper themselves before the wedding. This seems like something that should go into the favor bags. Because it just looks like a beautiful, like, wedding type thing. I fig you know, I figured you guys, I figured it was definitely... That you guys definitely did a lot of favors and stuff like that. Because it just seems like they, they would be perfect for, like, wedding favors or baby shower gifts or, you know, like, in the, the favor bags. They just seem perfect for it. Oh, wow. I would even do give away these bags for favors, too. I would definitely do that. Yes, and do not forget, also, hello, Julia. Do not forget, also, we have Miss Titone. You can receive her products by going to her Facebook page. And that is Blessed Hands Bath Creations. And you can definitely jump on her Facebook page, like and follow, and let her know I sent you on over. And she may send you some pretty goodies as well. But here we go. Oh, and here is the stamp that is stamped into um, all the soaps. All the gold stamping that's in the back. Here it is and it's full without me having to open the soap right now. Um, but, I mean, I can open all these. I just don't want to lose the names on them. I want to keep the names so that way when I go to demo them and show them. You missed this, girl. Oh, you missed this. You missed this box, and also we opened up Miss T. Tony's box, which I have them wrapped up right now, but I'm going to go demo these soon. I'm going to demo the big one. There's a huge, like, 10 to 12 ounce bath bomb in there. And I'm going to go demo that very shortly. And you're going you're gonna to be able to see what that looks like. Oh, wait, wait, Macy's saying it upwards, upwards, upwards. I would have done that for my wedding party. Yeah, like, I think that that is a perfect idea for, like, a wedding party, you know? Especially if they have to be put up in hotels or stuff like that. Like, if you're having, like, the big old fashion wedding, 
Which I know down Louisiana, there's a lot of that going on. The big old fashion type weddings where all family comes in from all over the place. Wait, this is the one I want to use so I can take him out. You know, they come in from all over the place and they have these big old cute, you know, friggin' French Quarter type weddings and you gotta put them up in hotels. So the night before the wedding, you give them a little cute little bag of goodies. And I could definitely see putting in a bar like this. And, like, maybe a cute little, like, soap dish container so they can take it home with them. Because, obviously, they're not going to use this whole bar in one sitting in the shower. And then all your guests come to your wedding smelling like clean cotton. Hell yeah. <laughs> the facial serum, too. I could even see dropping, like, a facial serum, a lotion, and a bar of soap in for weddings. There you go, Juice. Well, Juice, you, you're, you're a soap maker. You know, you're a, you're a bomber. So, definitely. I would definitely not think anything other than putting that into your, your wedding. 100%. The sea salt bar, I want to try too. You know something? We're doing two. I'll take the sea salt bar too. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the facial serum, I want to put that on my face real quick. Let me see if I can like anchor you guys here and then I'll switch you guys around to look at me. But I am not looking my best, so you're going to have to deal with me. I do not look so pretty right now, but I'm going to try and just anchor you guys in here. Hold on. Can I anchor you down? Fold this down? Wait, 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 wait. I'm losing you. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to anchor you in here. And do we have it? Do we have it? This new tripod is not my favorite. Definitely not my favorite at all. All right. You ready for the mess? Bing! I have a shirt on. It's just low. <laughs> okay. I think that actually was one of Lush's slogans. Oh no, that salt bar, my husband's not getting a piece of. Nope. He's not getting a piece of the salt bar. I want that all for myself. No, I'm looking rough right now. Uh, I'm just, it's, it's the weekend. It's, you know, it's... It's part of the day for me to... To, like, relax... Right. And get some work done. <laughs> Who the hell are you talking to? Lisa? Lisa? She's not biting you. That's her ass on your neck. That's her tail. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we have the facial serum. I did a very small amount. I think I'm going to do a little more. But I like the way it feels. I like the way it smells. It's not tacky. It's not greasy. This is the salt bar. And it's got... It has... Like, it, it is... It is, like, gr like granule. So when you go to... Okay. I'm going to tell you a little TMI. Now, what I love about any kind of exfoliant product is, you know, like, sugar scrubs, salt scrubs, things like that. Salt bars, like, soap bars. All of these products... And it smells so clean. All of these products are used okay. before shaving. To use before shaving and also used to remove all deodorants from your armpits. Why do I like to use them before shaving? Because it takes away all the dead skin. I shave every part of my body. Uh, it takes away <clears throat> all the dead skin, therefore lifts up your hair follicles and takes away that dead skin so you don't have any ingrown hairs when you go to shave. So you won't have ingrown hairs, things like that. And on top of it, Every time you put deodorant underneath your armpit, you form a layer, a barrier. If you're using regular commercial deodorant, too much it'll feel like a mask, just enough. It absorbed instantaneously. I don't feel any of it. It like it went in instantly. I think I may do one more pea size amount. It went in absolutely amazing, like just one, two, three. The facial serum, I'm actually really, really, really pleased with. I think it would make a great um, uh, before my cover-up and stuff. I think it'll be perfect. Now I gotta get you to do a hair serum. So, when you put on a regular, ordinary uh, deodorant, like a regular over-the-counter deodorant type things, my skin's actually dry and oily all at once. Like, I get the dryness through here, and then I get the oily, like, right here, right here, and a little bit on the sides by my hairline. But otherwise than that, it's pretty dry all around. My hair's starting to look real bad lately. Anywho. Uh, but when you buy commercial deodorant, you build a layer. 
get free shipping. Awesome. And that layer needs to be scrubbed off. So you have to use like an exfoliating bar or something of that sort. You guys want to see something funny? Like my husband just passed out with a lizard on his back. Watch. Let me show you. Do you see that? Richie has not been asleep in two days. He's working like 24-7 right now. So he hasn't been to sleep in two days. And he just passed out. Again, he's, he's working from home, he's working in the office, he's just, he's working like crazy, so he has not been able to get to bed. And then the kid keeps him up all night. So he just passed out with a lizard on his back. But uh, in order to get that, that like layer of that regular deodorant off in order to apply, you know, more, shave the armpits, or even get them waxed or something like that, you gotta use an exfoliant. That's what I love the salt bars for, because it's easy. You put it in your hand, you know, the whole nine, it takes off that layer of deodorant. You will never have smelly armpits, ever. You will never produce a stench if you are taking off the layers that are there. No, it does not smell like salt at all. It smells fresh. It smells clean. It is this fragrance. I'll actually read it to you what exactly it is. I have it right here. Um, the sea salt bar is... It's an ocean fragrance. So it has like a... Like an oceany type scent to it. Very, very, very nice. Naked here? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? I usually know when I say hello. There you are! I didn't even know you jumped on. Hello! I don't see every comment that comes on, unfortunately. I wish I did, but they filter out a mess load of them. They really do, and bad connection over and over and over again. This is annoying as hell, and this is a horrible angle. Everybody see up my nose? Oh, I like this one a lot. I definitely do like this one. This one's really good. Let me pull you guys down a little bit. Okay. I'm curled up in my tank and my Lulu's. I fell in love with Lularoo. I, I drank the damn Kool-Aid. It's over. It's done. I wound up buying two shirts yesterday I don't even have the money for. Like, it, it, it's bad. She's got free shipping. Oh, wait. You're not in the country, are you? You're out of country. So she would just have to calculate it, right? Oh, my God. This is so good. Um, honey, hmm. my lizard is looking way too comfortable on you right now. I'm probably going to snatch her back up. Yeah, it does. It smells like real, real ocean. What the hell is this? All right, there's a freaking elephant behind me. It does. It has a real ocean fragrance. I have to throw a shirt on so I can take my lizard. So give me a moment. I only have my tank on right now. Let me throw on my Lulu shirt. All the Lulu stuff, I'm like in love with. I really just, I fell in love with the company. The feel of the items are like crazy, man. My, uh, one of my best friends, Amy, is a Lularoo consultant. And she does, like, giveaways, raffles, so I paid two dollars $2 into a raffle, and I won... Okay, hold on, now I can pick these up. Is that a better connection now, guys? Okay, I won... I paid two dollars into a raffle, and I won two outfits, among other goodies. But, and they were two, like, look, look at my leg. Two Disney outfits, I won. Well, one Disney, one regular. So one is like a magical Disney item, and then the other ones are regular ones, like like this. Like my, this is a, an Irma, I believe. But I paid $2 and got all these goodies. The leggings are friggin' buttery soft. Mm -hmm. Did it get better now, Pat? No, I'm getting very bad quality over and over again. It must be storming. I'm in a lower level apartment. They call it a lower level apartment. I'll tell you right now, it's a damn basement. I don't care what anybody says. How about that? It's a damn basement, all right? They want to call it a lower level, my asshole. Yeah, I'm having a really bad connection. We must be going through the storm. They're supposed to have a really bad storm tonight. Like a bad storm. Okay, okay. Give me my puppy. She's holding on for dear life. Give me her. She's a YouTube star. Hand her up. We're fighting over my lizard right now. I gotta tell you, I smell the candle. <sighs> yeah, you smell that candle? It keeps doing it. Why does it keep... Hang on a minute, guys. It may... 
it may break us for a moment, but I'm going to try and fix this. Hold on. Connecting. Be connected. We are reconnected. How is the connection? Are we going good? You got a spider in the room? Get the torch. What the hell, man? Oh, oh, fat lizard, fat lizard, fat lizard. Okay, gotcha. Snuggles. Look how fat she is. She is eating like crazy lately. Look at that. Say hello, Lisa. Hello. Hello. She's getting used to the camera now, realizing that that's not another lizard. That's just her. So she's finally getting used to it. But this is my puppy. She's a sand dollar. <laughs> I'm going to the spider. Oh my god, 940, babe. I'm gonna go to the store. What are you going to the store for? I think I want to fat out. You want to fat out? Yep, I'm gonna get ice cream. Can I fat out with you? I'm gonna get ice cream. I want ice cream. What kind of ice cream are you getting? I don't know, I can't call you because it's a fucking black hole there. Oh, you're going to shop, right? Yeah. I want my damn Spumoni ice cream. They don't have any Spumoni ice cream. They had that, it's like a Friendly's like long it. log I thing. Have it when I'm at. You have to look around. You have to look around I'm in different. Um, I'm looking at the whole ice cream section. Lisa, there you are. I was looking. Ow. Damn. You gripped me, kid. This kid doing my shoes. Uh, I don't know. He keeps stealing your shoes. My son takes my husband's shoes and walks around with him. Wait, wait. Julie, you leaving? Okay. Love you. Thanks for coming to hang out. It's Lisa. Lisa scared her off. <laughs> oh, this is... <gasps> oh wow, she's. <laughs> I got my sipster. <laughs> no, you cannot take Lisa out of my house. No, Lisa stays. Lisa stays with her mom. I love Lisa. She cannot leave the house. God it she leaps off or something. We don't have a leash for her. She needs a whole special leash. I have to order it, or either I have to have it made, one or the other. Mm -hmm. I just got it. I just got the sipster message. Come on, Lise. You got it? Right here, right here, right here. Curl up here. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. You're cutting me. You're cutting me. She is a bearded dragon. She's an orange bearded dragon. But if, if she turns sunburst around so you can see, yellow. she's all orange under here, so she's called a sunburst yellow bearded dragon. So she's got... Let me see if I can show you. See the red under her chin? Kind of like mine. See? She, she's called a sunburst bearded. She is, I tell you what, for a lizard, they tell you that beardeds are like the first pet if you want to enter into owning lizards and things like that. That beardeds are the first ones you should aim for. I have got to say, from, you know, when I, when I was a vet tech years ago, I'm talking like years ago, um, the exotics were something that they always had us, like, deal with, which was any kind of lizards. I think these are the hardest ones to keep. Wait, what is Jules making? Jules, what are you making? I thought, I thought I said we need soap from you. Which, what are we making? What are we making? I'm planning on making one for the holidays. What are we making? I want to know. Jules has the most buttery soap that I've ever used. Oh, a mint chocolate chip soap. Mmm. Mm, Damn it, that means I'm going to have to refrain from eating it. I have problems with soaps because I keep assuming that when a soap smells like food, you ever have that, that just thing where you just want to, you know, because it smells so good, it smells like a food. Well, me being the fat chick, I should not, I should not say that, but I, I do have, okay, are you happy? I do have that issue where I just have that, that need to, like, bite, bite, bite down. She's not looking to bite. She's looking to cuddle. I'm just saying. You don't know. Your lip could look like a freaking worm. If she goes to bite my lip, I'll bop her in the head. That's a great thing. Give her an aneurysm. You don't give them an aneurysm when you tap them. <laughs> she should bite me. It's going across the room. <laughs> no. she goes to bite you, it's your fault. What? Yeah, she don't know better. 
She's ate so much today, though. I don't think she, if you even dangled a cricket in front of her nose, she would be able I to fit it. I if I put a worm on you, she'd fucking annihilate it. <sighs> I don't think she could fit it. Look how fat she is. Look at this body on her. She was so scrawny when I picked her up. She has eaten so much. And then she stole an orange from Richie's hand. Mm-hmm. May he an order from you as soon as we get the new house. Woohoo! Can I have my cigarettes, please? Right. They're right there. Can't get that? No, Lisa will Shoot. fall off. Can I have the lighter too? Where is it? Next to them. My pain in the you give me one, you don't give me the other. Come on. Uh, now. Where's the lighter? Right there. It. It's right there. Where? Right there. Where? Underneath the fucking papers that you can see that I can't? Underneath my paper. Because mm -hmm. I can't see that. Okay. Guys, I'm going to light up. If something you don't like, don't watch. Alright. The business is done. Now we are just hanging out. I gotta say, though, Miss T, the smells of them bath bombs are incredible. And Pat, Tanglewood Soap Company, you, you damn blew me away. I gotta say, yes. Both of these companies have been amazing. And I also have Rachel's products, too. Which, Rachel, I did on Facebook because I wasn't gonna film it and then I saw that she threw in some of her bath bombs from her company, Fizz the Love, which if any one of these companies, you're going to find them all linked at the bottom of my descriptions on all of my videos from now on. The Tanglewood Soap Company is definitely going up. Uh, Miss T's company is going to be up there for you guys to go check out. She's offering a great promotional, uh, promotional thing right now, as well as Tanglewood. Tanglewood Soap Company, if you mention my name in your comment section, in your PayPal little comment section there, when you make a purchase from Tanglewood Soap Company, she is offering two soaps to go with your order. And Miss T, Tony, Mr. Um, Miss T, I want to say, you know, I always want to say Tremaine, but, I, but it keeps coming out of my mouth as Tremina. So I don't want to say the wrong thing, so I'm going to call you Miss T. Miss T is also offering uh, for you to go check out her Facebook page, which is the, you're going to have to say it again for me because he done flipped my paper over. I want to say Blessed Hands Beth Company, uh, Facebook.com. Don't call her Tea Time. <laughs> that is T Tony. T Tony, baby. <laughs> so T Tony. Blessed Hands Beth Creations. Okay. Blessed Hands Beth Creations on Facebook. Go like and follow her page. And uh, she is offering a little something something as well. So I have two companies right now that are offering up a little something something. And on Fizz the Love, you can always find coupons, deals, things like that. Follow them on Facebook. Follow them on you know Instagram. They're, they're always stuff like that. It's a free soap. Okay. So it's a free soap with every, uh, with every order you make. As long as you mention my name in the comments, she will toss in uh, a free soap with every order for Miss Tanglewood Soap Company. And Miss T is, if you like and follow her page, she will toss in two bombs. Oh, Miss T, you got to send a Tanglewood Soap Company. <laughs> See, I will tell you, man, the best thing about all these indie companies is that now I'm becoming an indie company. So now I'll be able to make trades with people and send them little thank you things and things like that. For all this cool stuff, because I too am becoming a company. You forgot to ask me what type of ice cream I wanted. No, I, I want like um the black cherry. Well, no, you always got. No, but I'm thinking more of a different company. Or I want. I'm, getting, I'm getting the other one, the turkey one. Like, the friendly one. Cheaper. The no, turkey hill one I want. Yeah. All right, yeah, it doesn't have the chocolate chunks in it. No. Or I'm also looking for double fudge brownie. Yeah, I don't have in Edie's. Just get a bunch of different items. Yeah, Don't be getting no more hot fudge. That shit was nasty. One more. Um, get maraschino cherries and wet walnuts if you see them. Maraschino cherries would be awesome. It's gonna be a fat night. Mm. Mm. She's so gentle. She's such a, such a good baby. Almost dropped my ashtray. Right? She's such a cool baby. She's, so, she's such a gentle like animal. Even my two iguanas were amazing. <laughs> we love money for soap. <laughs> I will I will trade my money for soap.
How are you feeling, Alicia? You alright? I know you were not feeling too cool, so I'm not going to keep you. I just want to know if you're alright. That's why I was, I was asking for you before. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Lease down, down. Thank you. I actually have a grocery store that will deliver. Oh man, Lise, I'm so sorry. That's gotta be like the worst migraine pain in the world going on now. That's why you're that's why you're throwing up. I may share with the hubby. I just I, I may have to cut one in half. But he's not touching my soap my salt one. My salt one is mine. He he can find himself something else to play with. I may share with him. And thank you so much for enjoying my videos and actually liking what I do. I, I am a hard pill to swallow. Not a lot of people like what I do. <laughs> with soap it's every man for himself. Thank you so much, both of yous. I mean, all of yous. Uh, Fizz the Love, Tanglewood Soap Company, T. Tony's, uh, Blessed Hands. Like, thank you, all of yous, for sending me all these amazing goodies. They gave me a bunch of nausea meds that are different. And I already have. They're helping so far. Okay. Oh, Richie will deliver? <laughs> yeah, you pay him enough, he may drive out there. <laughs> Yeah, at least get some good rest, and uh, I'm. If you want a PM when you wake up again, I'm usually up in the middle of the night. I'll be up all night tonight working. Ow, ow, ow! Why are you doing? Why are you digging? What are you digging for? I love you, Lisa. I hope you feel better. Ow! Why are you digging? If you shit on me, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, she's just trying to get comfy. I feel bad. Lisa's been going through some severe migraine issues. She went to the ER, May, so I don't think they're going to do any nerve massaging there. Mm, obsessed with. The products are excellent, but I have the same punch without you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, a lot of people do not like me. And a lot of people will not send me their stuff because they're afraid I'm going to give them a bad review. And they don't want, like, I guess they call it, like, the wrath of a bath bomb Nazi. They call me the bath bomb Nazi, but in all honesty, I really have not found many products that I do not like. Um, well, there was one from Witch Baby Soaps that I did not like. Um, I'm all around pretty pleased, you know, pretty easy to please. You know, there's not really much I don't like, and there are items that I like for different reasonings, you know? Like, um, some bath bombs I like because they're foamers, some bath bombs I like because of the lusters, some bath bombs I like because it smells, and they don't do anything, you know? Like... It's just different, different products have different, different things that I like in them, you know? Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Yeah, exactly, Pat. Like... If I lie about a product and just say, oh, I love it, and I really don't like it, how is anybody going to know? You know, how is anyone going to know that there's something wrong with it? Now, I don't know everything about every single product, but I'm a consumer. I, you know, I'm a, I'm a purchaser, so I'm a customer, and I'm telling you flat out, I'm not liking this because of this. You know, maybe there's a hundred people that like it because of that, but I did not, so... If you're uncomfortable with it the same way I'm uncomfortable and don't like it, maybe you change it and you get 20,000 more orders because, oh my god, now it's incredible. Look at, let's use, um, let's use a company that went under, for example, Whiskey Mermaid. She first produced her product. It had no poly in it, no nothing like that, and it was a giant oil slick on the tub. Now, I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. It was a giant oil slick. Good night, hon. Love you. Feedback and listening to the customers equals to say, yes, definitely. I feel the same way. That's why, you know, when Pinkies reopens and anybody gives me any kind of, you know, criticism, negative criticism, anything like that, I'm going to use that and make those products amazing. 
you know, I'm going to kick ass pulling those products and turning them into what my customers want rather than just what I want, you know? But let's use Whiskey Mermaid. She made a bomb, her first bath bombs, and I hated them. Oh, God, did I hate them. They were oily. It looked like... Hello, Mayor. It looked like she had just poured baby oil everywhere in my tub. And she didn't. It was a bath bomb. But it was so oily, and it didn't have anything to... You know, like, it, nothing in it was oil-soluble, so it didn't it didn't mix in with the water properly. Yeah, some people are just dicks. But then you have a few that actually want to see your company succeed, because they, they like the product, they would just like it a little different, you know? Don't mind the mess behind me. Hi, Nat! <laughs> but, uh, she therefore took my criticism, and I worked with her, and told her what I didn't like, what I thought was, like, kind of gross about it, what I thought was too oily... And, like, the smells were hidden behind this, the oil smells and stuff like that. And she went right in, changed that product, sent me another one afterwards. And I told her that I would buy her out if she changed that product, turned it into a foamer, fixed the oil issue a little bit and all that stuff. And uh, she sent me a whole mess load of new bombs. And they were amazing. And I fell in love with the Whiskey Mermaid Company after that. Unfortunately, she's no longer around right now, but... She made one hell of a good product. Towards the end, she was slipping. She had a lot, unfortunately, she had a lot of issues going on at home, things like that. But she put out an awesome product the second go around that I tried. And the first one I just did not like. And she wasn't happy with it either. It was actually a recipe that she was putting together with another person but the other person had jumped up and opened a company before her without I guess without her knowing so that recipe became that company's recipe and she tried using the same one because it was their shared recipe and it uh it wasn't it just wasn't something I enjoyed and she didn't like it either so when she changed it she was happy I was happy mess little co customers were happy with it so that change was actually one of the best things she did So I was very happy that she did make that change. Oh, wait, Maze, I'm missing your comment. I just couldn't film anymore. I felt so bad, but I just didn't feel confident, comfortable being as she shut down just bashing her. Towards the end, they weren't that great, but I will tell you, man. Yeah, unfortunately, it was a joint recipe that her and another company, let's not name names, had put together. And the other company wound up just running off. They were supposed to open together. But the other company just ran off. No, Whiskey Mermaid is closed down. Yeah, she did close down. Oh, Mason, her heyday, those bombs were amazing. They were so... Oh, even around Easter time, she was still producing good products. But it's just, once she, once she had some personal issues, once Dad got really, really ill... She started slipping behind and could not get herself dug out of it. And she wound up having the clothes. Yeah, it's so sad. Oh my god, and then the worst happened. Her boys were riding on a bike, and they wound up getting hit by a car with a boat trailer on the back of it. And one of them broke his leg, the other one I think broke his wrist, I, I want to say it was. But the kid that was on the back of the bicycle wound up getting the blunt of it and broke his legs and stuff. Don't even think about it. Uh, broke his legs and stuff, broke his leg and, like, got all messed up, so she is just, man, getting hit upon hit upon hit, that poor baby. Like, I, I really, my son just, just went, Ooh, so I'm hoping he don't wake up. She just, she is, she has gotten a whirlwind of, like, you know, just bad events. Thank you, dear. You know, T, I think you should look into popping open like a, maybe like an Etsy or something like that. Yeah, that's what it is, Mayor. When it rains, it pours, and she's she's having a tough time now. But yeah, you gotta, you always gotta watch, you know, who who you trust, 
who you're sharing your, your business ventures with, things like that. I have gotten lucky that I have some amazing women in my life. I mean, I have some women that just would never, would never look to hurt me. I have awesome friends, awesome, amazing women, and most of them I've met right through here. You know, a lot of them are, you know, women who travel a lot because their husbands are in, in the service. And, you know, praying that one of these days they get transferred over towards the New York area so we can all hang out together. But, you know. Soap cell. Ooh, soap cell is free. Ooh. I did not know about soap cell. That is awesome. Oh, you mean the, uh, the, uh, if you've been screwed over by Whiskey Mermaid Co. Co or something like that Facebook group? Yeah, I love how the owner of one particular company jumps on and starts bashing her like crazy. You are supposed to be an owner of a company. You are supposed to be a professional about your work and your company. But you're, you're going to go on and you're going to repetitively bash someone on a live open forum Facebook page. That is not, I will never buy from that woman just because of that. That really turns me off. Never go on and bash a company if you have not had a personal dealing or bought in a product and been burned by them or something bad has happened that you have personally had an issue. If you just dislike a person and you own a company yourself, what do you think's going to happen when you go on and, you know, some, somebody that doesn't like your products, you know? Or you make a bad business move and start falling apart or losing or slipping. It could happen to anyone. So what do you think people are going to do to you when it happens to you? After seeing all this crap that you wrote. You know, under your company's name as well on that Facebook page. That's just gross. Exactly. Karma is a bitch. Watch. Watch what happens to that company. I refuse to put those products on my channel. I refuse to demo. I refuse to even give her a good or bad review. I refuse to even do any kind of business with that company, especially after that. I think that was very gross. That was very sick, very gr And I'm being hugged right now. I think that was very sick. That was very gross, very uncalled for. And as a company owner, you have to have at least some professionalism about you. Now, yeah, I'm a company owner. You know, I'm going to relaunch Pinkies tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, but no, oh, Jax. <laughs> I am gonna I'm gonna relaunch Pinkies again tomorrow, and you know sell all my stuff out. But I am also a reviewer and a bad critic. But I understand if someone doesn't like my products, then okay, they don't like my products. What can I do to make them better? I'm not gonna go on and start bashing people because oh, I know there's already gonna be people who are gonna come on and bash me, but yet they've never purchased a product from me. You can't just you can't act like an asshole when you own a company, because you don't want the you don't want the backlash. You definitely don't want that backlash. Look how fat she looks. My fatty girl. My little frog legs. Look at these frog legs. She's literally hugging me and, and laying down. This reminds me of the girl who tried to get free stuff from me when I was first messaging Corinne about my work. Oh my God, that poor girl. <laughs> Oh, she jumped on like, hello. Oh, Rage, you're finally off. Good, now we can hang out. <laughs> I got people asking for free stuff. Yeah, the, the freebies are crazy, man. He's giggling in his crib. Yeah, see? All right, now you see how unprofessional that is? She is a own... He's just... Do you hear him? He's laughing in his crib. Can you hear that? He's sound asleep. He's out, out like a light. Oh, I think he's getting out. He's, watch, it's gonna turn to crying soon. I don't know what he's laughing at either. He may be dreaming. 
Him and, and uh, Rich have been playing all day, so he could be dreaming. Or he's going to start crying any minute. And I'm going to have to jump up and grab him. Anywho. Um, you can jump on the Facebook group and check it out. Um, I forgot her the, the actual full name of the shop. If anybody knows the full name of the shop, you can say it. But I forgot the actual full name of the shop. I don't want to give some you know a name up. What if it's not the same shop? What if I'm wrong, you know? But there's a Facebook group, um, something like if you've been burned by, or if you were screwed over by Whiskey Mermaid Company or something like that. You can look it up right on, uh, Whiskey Mermaid Co. So, yo, mm -hmm. you can look it up right on there and, for stepping in. Thanks again, Karen, for stepping in. When that girl did what she did. Oh, I'm fine. There, there you go. That's what it was. It was Ocean Bubbles. That's the name of the company that's all over that page bashing Whiskey Mermaid Ona. That's the name of it. Oh, you're welcome, Tony. I don't I don't find it right if uh if somebody comes on my feed and says, Hey Corinne, would you like to demo my products? For somebody to come on and start the begging ritual of begging for free items because they saw the word free. I just don't go for that. I don't want it being done on my channel. Um, hey, if you want to do that, if you want to message somebody privately, that's on you, but I don't want it done through me. You know, I've never asked a company for a free item. I never will. I just don't, I don't think I'm not comfortable with it. And I don't want anybody else doing it, like, and pressuring someone on my channel. I want everybody to come on my channel, relax, have a good time, and not feel pressured at all. So that's why I stepped in and kicked her ass out. She can still watch and stuff, but she can't comment. She can't do any of that. She's, she's banned from ever being able to type anything. Just because I don't trust that she won't do it again. You know, I mean, we've all sent her long-ass messages telling her, look... You know, you have three subscribers on your channel. People start sending you stuff once you keep moving and once you keep, you know, doing things. And, you know, and you actually produce videos and, and good things. You can't, you can't expect people just to hand you free stuff for nothing. You know, it is a business transaction. It really is. <laughs> Shauna, you are so lost, girl. <laughs> so it is, it is a business transaction. People want to put their stuff on a channel for a lot of people to see. And if it gets a great review, great. Then, you know, it sells good. If it gets a bad review, then they know, hmm, what was so wrong with it? Maybe I should switch things around. And then they put it out again, and it's amazing. So it actually is like a business transaction. But you have to have something to offer that company. You know, you can't just say, hey, send me free shit just because, you know. <laughs> One subscriber. <laughs> Negative Ghost Rider. He's <laughs> left it's <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Copper Cat. That was the coolest friggin' bath treat I've ever had a, had a chance to play with. I freaked over that. I, I, like, the bark. Okay, so in my, my lavish bath box, it was a unicorn theme. I got a product. I'm sending you pieces of unicorns. Hi there. Aw, oh, thank you very much. But, oh, man. I, I, I fell in love with them. I absolutely fell in love with this product from Cap uh, Copper Cat Apothecary. And it is, like, a pink bar of bark. And you put it in the tub and you can break it up or you could run it under or, you know, you can do anything with it you want. But it was the best, like, sensory play. And I have a bad list. You can see it anytime I say something with an S. The best sensory play that I have ever, like, screwed with. It was, like, it fizzied in my hands. It was so cool. Yeah, Tony, you better put an end to that that free offer right now before you lose a lot of money in shipping. <laughs> oh my god, Shona, I haven't even finished with, with the first set. <laughs> it's okay, hey. The more the merrier. I will get everybody's bombs up. It's got a new mold. This bomb's going to be like five pounds. Oh my god. That is going to be oh, Halloween time coming up. That is going to be be that is going to be the best seller. Watch. Mm. 
baseball people. Oh my god. Uh, teacups, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Teacups, 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 teacups. What'd you say? What'd you say? For example, what happened to me today was something I wasn't pleased about, but a little more pleased than some people. Not to rant and rave about it on YouTube. Yeah, well, I mean, if, if you're doing reviews and that is the basis of your channel, then, yeah, going on and saying, hey, I used a product, but I wasn't happy with it. This is what happened. You know, that's that's what happens. But, hello again, Amy. But, uh, you know, if you're going to go on and you're going to lose your shit, if it's something small and minute, then uh, that's kind of just like being a pain in the ass. But, uh, like me, I lost my shit when it came down to a company that dyed my tub so severely that I could not, um... The King Tut bath bomb was amazing. I actually rented a hotel for the jacuzzi to do that one. Um, that was the Mad Bomber's bath bomb. But the one that I did that did the rant about was like... Oh, man. I don't remember what that was. I think that was like a Nightmare Before Christmas bomb. Oh, so bad. Uh, <laughs> Shona, you're an ass. But that was a company that had just started out and literally, like, used dye in their product and ruined a bathtub right when I was selling that home. So I was like, oh, no. And then the way they reacted was a problem. You know, it was... I wasn't going to even put the video up. I wasn't going to say anything. But I didn't want my subscribers, who are all my buddies and my friends, to turn around and be like, Corinne, I bought this gift set and my tub is black as shit. What the hell are you doing telling me to buy this gift set? So I put a little disclaimer in the comments that I, I could not stand behind this product at this moment. You know, like, right now I couldn't, but they are fixing, you know, they, they are fixing the bomb. Unfortunately, we had a, bit, a little bit of a problem, but they are fixing it. And turns out, they told me that they took it off the moment I told them, and they didn't because five of my subscribers had purchased that box due to me telling them, to, to you know, this is a great box, look how cool this is. You know, we're going to go demo it right now. And then I demoed it and I was like, oh, fuck, what do I do? So I very quickly messaged and told them, you know, like, what the hell is in this? And they couldn't answer me. Like, they answered me with, like, five different things. And then finally came out and told me it was dye. Like, dye dye. Like, actual dye. Because they couldn't get black lakes. How, you, how could you not get black lakes? Mix the shit. You know, you, you never played with crowns. You know, you never colored a bunch of shit. But yeah, it was rough. So I, uh, when I did that video, it embarrasses me now to this day. It does, but I won't take it down because I don't want people to go ahead and purchase a product of a company who handled it in that form and then come back and say, oh my God, this company handled this so bad. Da, 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 da. Well, hey, I've already told you this is the way they handled it with me. So you're buying at your own risk. You know, this is what they did, this was how this went down, and this was the unprofessionalism that I have gotten from them. See, I will. I will do a black bomb, and I will use black bombs, and I will purchase black Hey, Robin! I will purchase black bath bombs from women who know how to do it, or men who know how to create them. See... But a lot of people didn't see it as a good thing. They saw it as they ran from me. They didn't want their products on my channel. And the way I thought about it was, if you don't want to put your products on my channel because of what happened with this company because you're afraid I'm going to review you nasty or, you know, do something vicious to you, then your products are not readily available to go on my ass, basically. You need to then fix your product if you don't want your product on my channel. I am a hard critic. I do... I am an asshole when it comes down to a product because, one, I'm sitting my naked ass in it and my son. So I'm going to make sure now, I mean, he's too big to have mommy baths anymore. You know, he's not this little itty bitty baby I can hold in the tub no more. Now he's a big boy. So he's got a baby by himself. Sometimes I grab him and let him jump in and play. He's hysterical laughing in his crib. No, he's sound asleep, but he's hysterical laughing. <gasps> he got waffle cones. I got coconut ice cream, strawberry ice cream. Coconut ice cream? Yeah. What the hell is a coconut ice cream? It's coconut ice cream. <laughs> I've never heard of coconut ice cream. She's fat right now. She's, she's so comfortable and relaxed right now. But I'm a big believer that if you don't want to put your products on my channel, or if I purchase from you and then you message me and ask me not to put it on the channel, then that's a purchase that I kind of don't want to make, you know? 
The old hex bombs, I was not a massive fan of. Chocolate truffle. Ooh. I was not a massive fan of the old and ones. Just because... Oh, I want to do... I want to do, uh... Gene's new bomb. The the tomb one. I want to do that one. I'm going to grab that one soon. I got to... Actually, I got to talk to Gene and ask her what are... What are some of the really newer ones she's coming out with for Halloween so I can grab them and, uh... Yeah, right? I want to see this coconut ice cream. I have never heard of coconut ice cream. Um, let me see that coconut one when you take it out. No, he's not getting up. He's out. He's just, he's laughing. Like, creepily laughing. But what the hell are we just talking about? Mm -hmm. Oh, like, if they, if they don't want me to put the product on my channel, then I'm sitting there. I'm enjoying ice cream I want to try. I haven't tried that yet. Um, then I'm like, shit, your product must not be damn good, and you don't want to put your name behind your product and stand up for your product if you don't want me to put it on my channel. So then I get nervous, and I'm like, oh, shit, you know. <laughs> Maybe I just made a bad purchase. Sometimes it turns out that it's a good product. Sometimes it turns out it's not a good product. But there's been plenty of times that I have gotten product or I have ordered product, and then I'll get a message later saying, please do not put this on your channel. And I'm like, okay, hmm, I wonder why. Well, I found that later on because I am uh, known as the bath bomb Nazi. Almond Roca ice cream is amazing. Please put my products on your channel. I, Shauna, I will always throw your shit on my channel. I like your stuff. Why do I feel like I have a bad, like, tickle in my nose? I think I've... I think I've sucked up too much luster. <laughs> I do tell them in, in the first order, you know, the first time I message them, hey, you know, I'm a YouTuber... Lots of people don't like me. Here's the URL. I'm not asking you for a free item. I just want to let you know I'd like to make a purchase. But I do not, um, but I do, I do not do, you know, biased reviews. I like to do honest 100% reviews and I'm going to put it on a channel. Are you okay with that? And then, of course, I won't get an answer back for a long time. Kara. Crazy cat, you mean? Which Kara? Kira, Kira. Um, no, actually, I haven't seen her in a couple days. It's been a couple days. I think she was. I think she was uh, doing the house, moving. Oh, Deb. Shauna's got some good shit. Like she does. She's got some good stuff. I thought when she had wrote "bubbling fizzing creamy. bomb" that it was like a bubbling. Creamy. Okay. I'm, gonna try, I'm gonna show one. Come here. Look at the front. Look at the front of this. It's actual coconut ice cream. Oh wow! It really is coconut ice cream. Holy wow! Wow! It holy like crap! Cream, though, yeah, right? yeah, it kind of. It's like whipped cream. Wow. We could do that. Yeah, if it had coconut chunks in, it, that'd be awesome. Uh, don't feel bad. I'm not um, computer savvy either. I freaking you know how I do videos. Oh no, you're allergic to coconut. Oh my god, that's so sad. I don't really like coconut too much, but that I kind of like that. Um, I like eating it. I'm not a big fan of the smell if it smells like suntan lotion. I'm not really a big fan of the suntan lo suntan lotion smell. <laughs> the fur babies. Okay, good night. Go hug the fur babies for me. I will talk to you soon. I don't have fur babies. I have scaly babies. <laughs> Halo light? Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't even bother to use them. I video with my phone. It gives me good videos. My camera doesn't. It's really bad. It doesn't give good videos, but my phone does. Coconut sorbet. It's delicious. I like gelato. Ooh, I should try that. But, uh, I will, I will give you a hint. If you get, you know those, those lights that you hang off the hood of the car? When you're working? You know, when you're working on a car? Oh, she perked her head up. She wants food. <laughs> when you're working on the hood of your car? You can use those. You buy them from Home Depot. They're dirt cheap. You buy them from Home Depot and poof, you can use them. They work just as well. They light up the whole entire area. And they work just as well as those expensive camera lights. 
All right, last cigarette for a while. I'll hide them over there. My cigarette, I said last cigarette for a while. You gotta put them in the freezer and let them harden up. <gasps> what? Okay, well that's why I said put it in the freezer, let it harden up. Fine, eat ice cream now, Veruca. A cockatoo? The bird? Yeah, but I gotta rip out my lighting in my bathroom, so I bought a halo. Okay. I used to have two cockatoos. Well, they were my dad's, actually. Louie, and Louie lived for like a hundred years, man. He was like 20 years old before we even got him. And he lived like 20 more years, so he's about 40 years old before he dropped dead. Where he just fell off his perch and went... <laughs> but, uh, and Missy. Louie and Missy were the two cockatiels. Cockatoos? Cockatiels, I think. I think they were cockatiels, not cockatoos. I don't know. Is there? There's a big difference, right? That was Louie, right? What Dad had? Yeah, yellow, gray with the little frillies on their head. That was what Dad had. Oh, cockatoos are the big white ones, the ones that dance. Yeah, I want. I want an African gray. Oh, I'm supposed to be working right now, guys. Oh no, I, I can't have any more. Any more pets. I used to have a rat. We had a lot of them. They wound up multiplying. And then we had to find homes for them. I want an African gray. Shit, why am I tired? Rich, did you get all my medicine yesterday? Yes. Okay. She's like making my, my turkey fat waddle over here raw. Oh, wait, finger upwards, hold on. I still gotta call a doctor on Monday and find out where's the rest of my medicine. Mm -hmm. I was going to record my collection video of my bath bombs. But my hands are pink, so I'll wait. <laughs> I still can't believe you got dyed pink. That is horrible. Two bad boys. Louis and Lista. Ew, why are you doing that with your belly? She's swishing out her belly. Did you break up a cone in there? Hell yeah. <laughs> Did you not get the house inspected, Mace? Wait. Wait, wait, why would Lisa why would Mace need the house inspected? I thought didn't you you, you get the house inspected when you buy it, right? Fancy day. All cats are evil overlords. Oh, no, they're not. Cats are sweet. Anybody close to the Staten Island area that wants a really sweet, adorable black kitten? Richie's colleague at work who gave me Lisa is trying to get rid of this adorable, sweet black kitten. They want me to take it. Well, he wants me to take it, and he keeps fighting with Richie to take it, take it, take it, take it, but... No, you have Arnold Schwartz a kitty, Crystal. That thing is not a cat. That's a bobcat. I did jewels, but some things in the ceiling lights. Let's get this. They short out the wiring. Oh, wow. So whoever did that inspection did not do it right. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad inspector guy. Or unless you got some money off on the house to fix the wiring. Bengal Siamese hybrid. Yeah, he's a hybrid panther. I swear to God, Crystal's cat. Remember I showed you Crystal's cat? Arnold Schwartz a kitty? I've never seen that cat. It's bigger than sausage. I've never shown you the cat. I didn't show you the cat? Crystal, you gotta send me a picture of Arnold Schwartz a kitty. Do they come house trained? <laughs> Everybody hates the hairless cats. I want one so bad. Or I want a Chinese Crescent Puff Dog. They don't have no hair. You're, you're crazy. Hello, hello, hello. I want a pooley. A coolie? What's a coolie? Pooley. A pooley? What's a pooley? The fuck goes with the dreadlocks? The sheep goes with dreadlocks? Oh, the sheep dogs that have the dreadlock hair? That's They're called a pooley? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, wait, wait. Missed the comment. Missed the comment. Hold on.
both the kitchen and the bathroom have giant ceiling lights and they short out materials in those rooms. It only happens if the lights have been on for 30 minutes. Oh, wow, that's dangerous. So it's got to be on one breaker then downstairs in the basement, obviously. So they must be running off one straight line, and that one straight line can't take the both of them being on. Mm. Or, uh, what was it, Rich? Rich when the breaker is too small for the for the line? Uh, if, if you have too much, uh, if you have 30 amps on a 15 amp breaker, it goes and trip. Yeah, if you have 30 amps on like a 15 amp breaker, it's going to trip and shut them down. So you may just have to just switch out the breaker. I got it, Chris. I'll show them in a little bit. I want a hairless cat or a hairless dog or a hairless rat. Really, really, really bad. Or hairless guinea pig, but I'm not really a big fan of the guinea pigs. They squeak a lot. They they like they sing. We used to have a guinea pig named uh, Romeo, and he used to sing to the female guinea pig. I remember your squirrel. Yes, I do. Rachel, please message me. Let me get it figured out. Because I want to put you in Friday's order, please. Oh, okay. I was reading the wrong thing. 87 and a half pounds of baking soda. No idea where to put it. Not in the refrigerator. <laughs> I had a hairless rat too for a little while and then unfortunately had a very mean ass friend who dropped the cage and killed it while he was babysitting her while I was working. She was in like a, a transport cage because I didn't want to leave her home alone. And he wound up, he said he dropped the cage. Um, I don't know what the hell he did to it, but it, it was dead. And I never spoke to him again after that. Broke my heart. Then I couldn't buy groceries. No, you, you couldn't, you couldn't fit the groceries you put that in the fridge. I say just drag it down to the, uh, to the Luna room. And drag it all down there. Oh, now you can't smell my candle as strong if you shut it off. She's cold. She's cold? You got her heating pad? Working and loving the way everything is turning out. Crystal, you are not the only one. I am very happy with the way it all turned out. And pinkies will be done tomorrow. We'll be launching pinkies. I'm supposed to be finishing up my lip balms and my last couple of candles. Very bad connection, really. Oh my god, now T-Mobile's gonna mess up. <clears throat> I hate that. I really do. Finally, yes. What fi What happened, Rachel? What's finally yes? That's a lot. Just let me know. I'm kind of lost. I think this is a, that, that's a separate conversation, right? Yeah. I'm a little lost. Oh, my shop opens. Yes, 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 yes. It's going to be open tomorrow evening. Yeah, we were going to launch it open. Uh, the reopening was going to be tonight. But we want to make sure that we have everything ready. So it's going to be late in the evening tomorrow night we're going to open it. I just wanted, we wanted to make sure we had everything situated, that there was no issues, no shipping issues. Everything was right. Everything was put up right because Shauna is my admin for everything pinkies and she's handling everything for me there and uh... oh the the thing hold on I, I got her heating pig she, she might be cold so she's handling everything there so she does it all I send it all to her she puts it all up puts it all together does everything for me and then I go on and I check it all out right so it's going to be like the lush kitchen tomorrow in Crenshaw <laughs> now I can tell you right now it is not going to nothing's gonna go that fast it's not um, I tried to be as cheap as possible with the pricing, tried to do it all, you know, accordingly and all right, but nothing is going to go that fast. Yeah, we're on opposite sleep schedules. I'm awake all friggin' night, and Shauna can't be, so. And I also have, um, I need to get a hold of Kim. I need Kim's address. Because Kim is like a wax connoisseur, and I really respect her opinion. And I did ask her a long, long time ago if she would be my tester. And just test. You know, like, oh, thank you guys. 
and that she would just test them out and just give me her opinion. She doesn't have to film them or anything like that. But I just really valued, you know, like, because I know she's a wax connoisseur. I really valued her opinion on a lot of my wax stuff and everything. And I have a small little package that I was supposed to send out to her. I'm letting it heat up a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to put her on it. Um, so I have a small little package I wanted to send out to her, but I haven't seen her. To ask her, hey, what's your address? So I'm just going to have to drop her a message and ask her. I have her on my Facebook, so I'm just going to message her. Oh, don't worry, Candace. If by any chance, there's not much going up now. It's just a small launch. Not much is going up now, but throughout every, you know, every couple of days, something else is going to go up. Something else, something else, something else. So it'll keep, there'll, there'll be more stuff coming. Over and over and over again. Um, you will see some bath moms. They will be going up uh, towards the end of next, towards the end of the week. You will see some bath bombs going up. You will see my lip bombs going up. You will see some more candles going up. Make scented candles or what it is you make with wax? I do melt scented candles, soaps, uh, bombs, lip bombs, all kinds of stuff. But all of my wax is shimmer wax. It dances. It's what they call dancing wax. It has a shimmery luster through it. But not one of my candles is created with mica. Candles, wax melts, anything like that, I don't use mica. The shimmer stuff, you, you get that without using mica, because mica to me is dangerous when you burn it. Maple soap is awesome. I do like that. Um, I have, I think I have, what, 10, 10 to 15 skull candles going up? All different colors. Some of them are two-toned. And I am requesting a night offer. <laughs> I know, baby. I know, I know. I'm going to put you on the, put you on the warmth. On the warmth. Look, look. Warm, warm, warm. See? Warm. Warm heat pad. Heat pad. See? Warm you up. Aww. Um, on Etsy, Liz. It's going to be, it's my Etsy shop. There's different candles. Some candles are candles in wine glasses. Some candles are candles in daiquiri. Some candles are loose with nothing, no glass around them, and you have to melt everything. Like the skull candles, they melt down, they burn down pretty damn fast. But their centers burn out, and then you have a surrounding of the skulls. So I also made a tea light to go in them. And the tea light you're going to put in after you, you know, after you burn the, the blood out from the center. And uh, then you can take all that wax that melts out around it and, you know, like, pours out of it. Because it always leaves, like, a crack on the skull. And then all the wax pours out. You can take all that wax once it dries and break it off wherever you, you know, whatever plate you melted it in or lit it in. Because you have to light it in something. And you can drop that into your melter and still get a good 9 to 10 hours worth of fragrance. Oh, Shauna, Shauna, you can definitely have some time off. 100%. She's putting in her request now. <laughs> but there's no workman's comp involved here, so. <laughs> Don't even try and get me. But yeah, you can definitely have a few nights off. I haven't even had a moment to finish those candles. I still have... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... I have about ten more candles coming out. Um, oh yeah, I'll, I'll do like a big old announcement and everything when Pinkies is actually open. <laughs> All right, Shona, you, you can get your sleep. It's okay. I had her up last night till like 3 a.m., and then I couldn't make it no more. I was like, I gotta get some sleep. And then Richie let me sleep a lot. I needed it badly. You okay in there now? You happy? You okay? Okay. Soaps? I have soaps coming out tomorrow. I have three different kinds, Brightside, Snow Fairy, and Love Spell. And they all have glitters and shimmers. But that's coming out tomorrow, and then there'll be more. I'll, I'll keep making more and more and more and more. I actually have a Dove fragrance, I have a Coast soap fragrance, and I want to use them for soap. Like, I feel like they need to be used for soap, because they are soap. But my soap is a vegetable glycerin base. Um, so it's not, uh, it, it's like, it's not, it's vegan, it's not harmful. Unfortunately, the new soap that's going to be coming out, I did use lanolin. So that is not going to be able to be a vegan-based product. Even though lanolin, we can argue about it, is made from sheep's wool, so I don't understand how it's not 
vegan based because the animal's not dying, but they don't, vegans do not like to use any type of animal product. So it's not hurting the sheep, it's just giving it a haircut. But okay. Um, but lanolin is made from sheep's wool. So the next set of soap that I have coming out um, has the lanolin in it. But I add um, sweet almond oil and avocado oil to my soaps because I want them to be a little more moisturizing on the skin because when you're using a melt and pour a lot of times it's not that moisturizing so what's the matter is it too hot too hot for you go ahead cuddle cuddle go ahead yeah you're blanky you okay okay oh stop scratching me Heisenberg <laughs> Yeah. Um, around Christmas time, I'm believing I will be doing, I will be putting a coal process up for sale, I believe. Awesome, awesome. I'm glad all you guys like the soap. I did do some raffles where I gave away some in raffles. I raffled some off. Things like that. So some people have had the benefit to get their hands on it already. The energy drinking milk is either because the cows have to be milk. That's weird. I don't get vegans. Well, I mean, I don't understand a lot of it, so I don't knock it. Because, just because I don't understand it, don't mean that it's not, you know, it's not their way of life. I mean... Eh, could be different. I love my candle. It smells amazing. I'm so happy that you got it. So upset that it started to melt. That's why I was kind of holding off with the opening. I kind of did not want to open around the hot summertime, but it, it's starting to cool down a little bit. No more fidget spinners. <laughs> no, no, no more raffling fidget spinners. I've actually been doing the raffles on Facebook. I kind of like doing it on Facebook a little bit better. It's a little easier, a little faster to go through, and everybody gets to you know, get their winnings and everything right up, you know, very fast. So I think on Facebook it's easy to do the raffling. Um, I want to get Snow Fairy Brightside Soap Corinne. Awesome. I, I have them. Um, I don't have many of any product. Like, I don't have, like, 30 or 40 of any product going up. Oh, because they're forced to be... Okay. I don't have, like, 30 or 40 of any product going up, but I have, like, 15, 20, uh, 10. Some products I only got, like, two of. Um, but they're all up there. Oh, I know. Louisiana is hot and humid, man. Whew. Florida, too. Hot and humid. Uh, even Virginia has been really, really hot lately. How do they cost? Oh, how, how much do they cost, you mean? Uh, I'm not sure. I listed it up on the Etsy price, and I haven't looked back at it yet. They're, nothing's expensive. I tried to keep it as low as possible, just so that way, you know, everybody can jump on and try. Yeah, Sean, you should asking about the soaps. Oh, wow, Texas was 103. Damn. Yeah, I was... Oh, my God. Kansas, ha Kansas has been horribly hot. Jules has been hitting me up with, It's 110! I was like, oh, God. <laughs> so I was so nervous because it's wax, you know? And it does melt. So that is going to be a huge disclaimer. This is wax. Your products may come to you melted. It's, you know, purchase at your own risk. That's why I added on soap and other types of items. Because you never know what's going to happen, you know? Anything in the two-ounce cups, if they melt, they'll stay in the two-ounce cups. That's fine. But if it's something else, like, in a big can... Okay, they were four ninety nine. All right. If it's something else in, like, a big candle or something like that, there is a chance that could melt. So that's like a, you know, it's a purchase to wax on your own risk. But that's why I wanted to add in some soaps, things like that. Soon I'll be adding in the, the bath bombs. You know, just because I'm very afraid of melting, and I don't want anybody to... You know, artificially inseminate so they will even produce. So they will even produce milk. Ooh, they're artificially inseminated? That's not too nice. Prices for my bath bombs are 50 cents a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, and five dollars. It's not bad. Wait, you mean to tell me that big ass bomb is five bucks? That thing's like 12 ounces. I thought it was going to be like 12, 13 bucks. 
That's a big ass bomb. <laughs> they don't just normally have milk. So they are forced to even produce. Oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah, T, we all of us, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pull you under and we're gonna have to get you worked out a little better here, because that is a low price for that big giant bomb. Pulls on the farm to the inseminate. Oh, that just seems Ooh. Now I know why vegans are so against like milk products and things like that. That sounds so mean. Yeah, I didn't know why vegans stayed away from milk and things like that. And sheep's like lanolin and, and things. Lanolin is to make something... Um, it will make it smoother and softer. A lot of people do use it in lip balms and stuff like that. But I figured out how to make a lip balm without having to use lanolin. Uh, and still get the same effects as lanolin. I have like this... There's I have this type of stuff that's like... It's considered a vegan lanolin. I don't know how it's it's considered but it's not made the original way lanolin is made does that make any sense to anybody it's a different type of product it's weird Wait. and you are cuddling way too far back there you are making me nervous can I see you I can see you ooh crystal just gave me some information You know something, T? Once once you start venturing out, once we put you up on, like, you know, we get you up on, like, either an Etsy or the, the soap place um, that um, uh, Pat was talking about, once we start getting you up there and everything and start branching you out a little more and, you know, you start bringing in more customer feed and everything, you can up your, you can up your price then. You know, because you're going to be in more of a demand... So you're going to be, you know, having to make more products. So you need to pay yourself a little something for all your time and effort and all your work that you're doing. Because when it turns around that you are pressing these bombs and you then have carpal tunnel, you're going to need to buy a carpal tunnel brace. So, you know, you got to put a little bit aside for you. And then the rest of it is to buy all of your ingredients and stuff, obviously. And then pay for packaging, pay for like, um, you know, any type of uh, cards, things like business cards, things like that. So, yeah, so that's when you can start upping your price a little bit. And people will still be, you know, still be okay with buying because they're paying for packaging. They're paying for, you know, all the things that come with it. Who's bashing? What's bashing? That's why when it comes down to, like, my wax, if you sell wax melts, right? Say you sell a two-ounce wax melt. The rule of thumb is to usually go by $1 per ounce. Well, I had to go over that because all of my wax is loaded with lustrous stuff in it that makes it dance and shimmer. So that is expensive. My packaging is another expense. Um, things like, you know, the boxes and the packages for shipping and things like that is another expense. So instead of people paying $2, they're paying, uh, what was it, Sean, $3 or three fifty or something like that? Luster is killing me. Yeah, but I don't want to use mica. I'm afraid of burning mica or heating mica or melting mica because I've seen some $3 a pop. Okay. So I've seen some hard, you know, things of what burnt mica does to lungs. So therefore I had to add on another dollar to pay for the package material and to add in for the luster and stuff. What's the best non mica luster? Luster isn't mica. That's not mica at all. Luster is an edible food. Actually it's, it's a, bakery decorating thing biodegradable glitter is very expensive as well but luster is stuff they use it in bakeries and stuff and it is actual edible it comes with four and a pot. oh you mean for my grape soda ones
yeah, my grape soda um, little melts, which you can, you know, cut them in half and use half in each melter, like, uh, those are four for five dollars. They come in a little package, four for five dollars. To where I believe the best way to package that is I'm going to slide a piece of cardboard into their um, probably popperline uh, bag and then slide them on top of it and then package them up that way. I think that would be the best way to ship those. I'm nervous about shipping those, but, you know. That's what these melts are. They are a grape soda, but my grape soda is different. It's um, two different types of... One is a grape soda and one is a secret and I mixed them together. And that is how I got my grape soda fragrance. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'll, I'll slide, I'll put them on the cardboard, then I'll slide it in to their, to their polypropylene bag, because right now they're not pre-packaged. She's got good fragrances, and just so happens me and her buy from, like, the same place. So, I actually lucked out. <laughs> the only thing I didn't like about the grape ones is that, um, the top part of, like, because it's a, it's a thing, it's a cup on the bottom and then a swirl of frosting on the top. Now, that frosting is still never actually hardened, hardened. It still has a bit of play to it. So, and it's never going to harden, harden because it's a nice, um, soy-based wax. So, therefore, uh, there is a chance of it getting crushed, or melted, or something. And I'm so nervous about that with the wax. I'm so nervous of it melting, but hey, I mean, that's the chance you're going to take. So if nobody orders now, and they order later on more in the cooler months, then I won't take any offense to it. But as for soap, or bombs, or lip balm, or anything like that, no, no, use order now. <laughs> Hello, LS, how are you? LS, I heard you won something. What are we calling a sampler pack? Mace, I'm lost. I have free samples uh, to give out. Like, I'm, go I'm gonna be giving free samples away. With every order, of course, there'll be something in there free. Whether it's one, two ounce one, or whether it's something. I'm, I'm lost here. What do we... Oh, wait, you could do... A gift box with a cheap melter and a sample of each wax. If I did a sample of each wax, I'd be broke. <laughs> um, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to purchase a bunch of melters. So that way I had to make shake bath bombs and not just round ones. I do have a bath bomb on my page. Let's see. It has candy eyes in it. Oh, that's cute. Blooming baking soda and packaging ochres tomorrow's my day. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> um, if I, I what I wanted to do is I wanted to get a bunch of melters. You know, the the pretty decent ones. I wanted to get decent ones. I mean, do you not want this on you? Are you too warm? Okay. I wanted to get pretty decent ones and uh, do like around Christmas time, sell the melter with a couple, maybe like four or five, of my wax melts as like a whole set. You know, around around the holiday time. So that way it can be just be packaged and given as a gift to somebody. You know, you got somebody in your family that's in love with wax and melters and the whole nine. Well, hey, you know, Pinky's got a whole set, you know. How many days, how long until he comes home now, Shauna? But I never will sell, um... Yeah, I'll never sell an actual cheap melter. Like, you know, the, the melters that have the tea light in them? I'll never sell those, because I, I had some disasters with them. Oh, my God. I almost set my entire bathroom on fire. I'm doing good, Ellis. I'm tired, but I'm doing good. I almost torched my bathroom with one of those. My mother-in-law did not know that it was wax on the top and the, can the tea light burning on the bottom. So what did this Lulu do? She thought it was burning straight through, and she kept trying to smother it out because the tea light went down too low and it was flickering really high and she caused the wax to go over into the lit flame and pfft, everything got went up so yeah she she wasn't too bright on that two weeks all right two weeks till he gets home 
And then that's it. Then we're going to lose you for two weeks. <laughs> Like the Fragrant Jewels candles. Man, Fragrant Jewels is now using a different type of wax, and I don't like it. I didn't like the old wax, but I definitely don't like this new wax. So I, But their bombs have stepped up. I've noticed their bombs have stepped up a lot. They're not just the basic bullshit fizzes that I used to get from them. Their bombs have stepped up a whole lot. Now they're foaming, and... Okay, okay. Um, actually, I'll probably do it tomorrow morning. Because it's getting mad late right now. It is almost 11 o'clock here. Oh, this is Lisa. Lisa, meet Ellis. Her name is Lisa Darby. Uh, my favorite wax melters are bulb melters uh, with the 23 to 24 watt bulb in them. I, I like those the best. I think my wax performs the best in those. I do have a regular plate, a metal plate burner. Um, and my wax performs well, but I think it performs so much better in the bulb ones. You get more hours in the bulb ones. See all my dishes back there? They're clean, but they're there. Tomorrow is in bed day for me. See, every every one of my friends is on here getting doing their shop, the whole nine. Tomorrow is my filming day. So I do not deal with anybody tomorrow because Sunday it is my filming day. So I can get my videos up for the week, and it is the day where I spend almost the entire day relaxing in the bathtub and I get my filming done I get my, my editing done and all like my stuff done and all that uh, my shop is going to open tomorrow night so that's gonna be another thing added on to my tomorrow I'm gonna have to watch the shop and make sure that I package everybody's orders up and get them out I do say it does take up to uh, 14 days for you to get your package but mm, people know how fast they get shit for me and sometimes I already if it's already pre-made and it's already ready to go, then they're going to go ahead and get their stuff pretty damn fast. So it'll only take a few days. I'd say about a week. You know, if that. <clears throat> Sorry. I lost the common feed again. Hold on. I have to make more of those tiny hearts. Oh, I feel bad for you. I get mine in two days. Okay. Those, man, I have, I had the tiny hearts. I wound up actually selling the mold because I, I sold it for like a dollar somewhere. Somebody bought it off me somewhere. I couldn't deal with it. I was just about to sell the, the gummy bear mold and then I thought, no, wait a minute. I actually like that one. But those hearts with wax, I could not do it. I may, I should have held on to that mold and now I want another one because I want to try it with soap. Maybe the mold would be good for soap, but I don't know. Yeah, I may I may use the gummy bear one to do some more gummy bears in little wax cups, you know. I was thinking of trying to do something for like Halloween. Oh, Boogs is passed out finally. My husband's passed out too, but Boogs passed out. With my dinky little turkey base. It's, a little, it's like that big. I couldn't believe it. Oh man, when I saw it, I was like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? You know? just talked to me about it and I'm freaking out wait 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 what did he talk to you about it sure how do you deal with hubby being the military I'm like really lost here miss Nice. What are you freaking out about? Hi, babe. Sorry, my eyes are squinting. I'm trying to read the comments while we're doing it. Her husband might be joining the military. Why in the world is he thinking about the military? How old is he now, Mace? Not to say that age would be a matter, I'm just wondering. 
And why would he be debating now? I do, he's got a pretty decent job. He's got everything going. He's got benefits. Why would he want to go into the military, though? Not to say it's bad. I mean, you know. He did 20 years in? Yeah, I probably I don't think I'd be able to handle it if Richie went in. Well, Richie's, Richie's too old to go in now anyway, but he wouldn't even be able to pass a physical. Oh, wow. I don't know any of that, Mace. Oh, hold on a second. Let me just answer my brother real quick. Sorry, he texted me. Okay, sorry about that. Got it. Aww. That's a nice love story. Night, Tony. Thank you and love you. I think I've been married over 12 years, just not to the same person. <laughs> I got married a few times. She is about three years old now, but I just got her. I didn't see Tony's comment. It's not on my feed. What the hell did you say, Tony? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this it? Just change the form. When he's not looking to... Oh, God. <laughs> You're an ass. Barbecue chicken pizza. Ugh. Nah, not my deal. Not barbecue chicken pizza. Uh-uh. Twist of water. Twist of water sugar scrub is amazing. I just used it. I really like Twist of water sugar scrub. It's a very fine middle sugar. And it really is nice. It's not like a rough exfoliant. It's nice and smooth and, and easy to work with. I really like it. Well, I guess to each his own. As long as he stays safe. My margarita. Oh, don't worry. School is going to be fun. You're going to love it. No, you're nervous, but it's okay. No blue arms. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Hello, Tori. Deep sleep? Yes, I have deep sleep, actually, inside. I actually like it. I really do like it. It was a bit kind of like, uh, in the beginning, and then I fell in love with it. It's just an extremely strong, like, lavender smell. Nothing like Twilight, though. It's close, but it's nothing, nothing like that, really. Um, thank you, Tori. Um, Rage, it depends. Um, if you do the track shipping, it's usually about two weeks. If you do the non-track, it's about two weeks and a couple days. So about two, two and a half weeks. You know something, Mace, though? It could be, you know, like a great life de decision for him. It may be something he loves being enlisted and he gets to see the world and so do you. So it may be something that you'd really, you really want to encourage.
Yeah, that was my witch baby scrub, and I was blue. Like, I was like, oh shit. Well, see, that's because you're putting your husband out in a country where he couldn't be killed, so I would be, I would be on the fence, too. Yeah, Sleepy Lotion is awesome. That is a complete 100% Twilight uh, smell. I gotta get my hands on the jelly bobs, but I gotta wait till I get muddy. Ow, 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 Lise. Stop, don't scratch. You're digging a hole in my neck. The very first bath bombs and very first fun that I ever made, I dyed the kid in myself blue. It wasn't a pretty blue either. It was bad. Yeah, Jules, I, de I definitely do, because I need to get my hands on the jelly bombs. So yeah, we'll definitely go in on those. When you come back from the, your, your anniversary uh, vacation. What, the witch baby uh, sugar scrub thing? It, man, I, right on camera, too, it turned me damn blue. I was like, oh, no. I didn't know what to do, and then I was like, oh, I don't like this. I think all those jelly bombs are going to be pretty damn messy. I, I just think it's just the way they're going to be. But I know the jelly turns to regular water after a little while. And it was the same one from the spell box, right? Was it the one from the, the same one from the spell box? Wait, you got the spell box, right, Mare? Sorry, I'm trying to like crack my back. And you had no problems with it? Then what the hell happened with mine? And it was too thick, like too it. it it felt like she used, like, a cocoa butter with it. And it was way too thick. I mean, like, the water kind of just beat it off. And I was like, uh, no, that's not going to absorb into my skin at all. So it wasn't my cup of tea at all. Sorry. I'm thinking, yeah, I must have got, like, a bad batch. Uh, April did the jelly bombs from the summit. It was a lush summit. They released them, but they weren't like 100% perfect. And the first jelly bomb that April did, it did not produce any jelly. And, um, it's not going to cover your entire tub with jelly. It's just going to be a small area in the water and it's going to be jelly-like. So it's not, it's not going to be the entire bathtub. Your entire bathtub is not going to be jelly unless you have four or five of those bombs in there, then you're going to get a whole layer of jelly. But, uh... Burnt the rice and milk. <laughs> okay, so when you make rice and milk, do you do it the same way I do? I boil a bag of rice, I pour it in a bowl, I pour milk over it, and then I shake salt all over it, and then I eat it. Do you eat it the same way? On Etsy, someone had a jelly bath bomb? Or someone put a bath bomb inside gel? Inside, like, you know, shower jelly. Boil rice with a cinnamon stick. And then add my, my, uh, and then add milk and boil a little longer. Oh, okay, alright. And then it's alright, you're making a sweet version of it. That's not how I do it. I don't like the sweet one. I like the, um... No, it was a jelly bomb. Wow. On the bath bomb in the gel. <laughs> Mexican style. <laughs> that, that's like the rice pudding at the Mexican restaurant down the block from my old house used to have. I used to like that a lot. But, uh... Why are you rubbing your head into my neck?
Tickless Giraffe now has a Jelly Bomb as well. Cheer Up Buttercup I don't like. Who, me? Have I found a place to move to yet? Man, every time we find a damn place, we go in and we fill out all the stuff. And due to my past, guess what? We get told, no. So, I'm, I'm not looking to put a down payment down on a house again right now. I'm going to wait a few years and leave the state. Right now, we're just moving to, like, a nice, decent or larger apartment. So we can get the hell out of here. The, the hot oil treatments I will never use again. I don't care if they come out with brand new ones. I don't care if they come out with perfect ones. Jules, do not get the hot oil treatments. Do not put that shit in your hair. It, it was like removing Elmer's glue. It just wasn't my favorite cheer up buttercup. It's not my it's not a scent that I really enjoy. Okay, Shauna. I just didn't like it. Jules, remember we were talking about trying the new one? No, don't even bother with it. Cause when I used when I when they first came out damage tangled all the rest, I actually still have them. I used half of my damage and put it through my hair and me and Rich literally had to cut off majority of my hair. What's HUD? Well, yeah, you have long hair, Aunt. Yeah, right? Damage is supposed to damage your hair. Oh, no. It destroyed my shit. Stop kissing me. That feels weird. There you go. Put your head down. There. I don't like it. Housing assistance through welfare. How do you get that? The binkies? I don't know. Where is the binkies? That's why he's getting up? Oh, she's my favorite. She is so lovable. She feels scratchy. Okay, Chris. Yeah, Chris, we're gonna, I'm gonna get off in a little bit. I'm, I'm starting to get really tired. And Boogs is getting up. Yeah, right? She must like the way this, the, the face serum smells. Yeah, that damaged one destroyed my hair. It was literally like I put Elma's glue in my hair. And it dried up and I couldn't get it out. No matter how much burning hot water we put in, no matter how much we shampooed it out, it just, it would not come out. We took the fine combs and, and tried to get it all out. Nothing, nothing was getting it out. It was really, really bad. So, never again will I do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I flipped out on Lush. I forgot I lost my shit all over Dean. And you know what he said? That's not what happened with other people. I said, yeah, okay, Dean, you're an idiot. But I flipped out, man. I was like, this shit is crap. How can you sell this? And now they're taking it off the market. So, yeah, I got in a fight with Dean about that. <laughs> but I, I always argue with Dean constantly. One more smoke. One more smoke and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off. <laughs> yeah, he, Tony, he's definitely going to get fired. Yeah, Dean is, you know, Dean's a nice guy. I will tell you that. Dean is a very nice guy. I do like Dean. But Dean can be a prick. But then again, he has to be. Because he is, like, you know, the customer service rep for a company where people call up and say, Hey... You forgot to send me this. Or, hey, I didn't like this. I want my money back. Or this or that. You know, all kinds of bullshit where people are arguing. People are mad. So, he's got to be... He's got to be kind of tough. Emma is sweet as hell. You know that there's only like 11 people that handle the customer service for the UK. It, 11's, 11's giving it a lot. 
I want to say, like, on any given day, there's, like, seven people in that room. Oh, man. Then Lady Twilight? Do, how do you get the name Lady, Lady Twilight without friggin' trying Twilight? Twilight is an amazing bath bomb as well as amazing shower gel as well as amazing shower jelly. You definitely got to try Twilight bath bomb. And they're not as expensive as you think. If you look at the UK Lush, you'll see the bath bombs are 3 and change, 4 and change. But when you trans translate it to US currency, US money, there may be five fifty, six dollars $6. And they are awesome products. Oh, from the Twilight Saga books. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, see, when Tony calls, there were only two on. <laughs> <laughs> but with a name like Lady Twilight, you have got to try Twilight. <laughs> oh, Lush is amazing, though. Trying to be mysterious. <laughs> Ow, what is up with you being so damn close? Can you back off a little? Just a little? Ow, ow. No. Back up. She's so, like, she wants to be, like, in your face all the time. Happy? There. Nuzzle. Back with pizza. Did you order pizza? Did you make pizza? And this one's got a root beer float over here. My dog doesn't look like a person anymore. He looks like he's a half rat, half. Oh god. This is my dog. Six chapter, the rest of the books. I just read this chapter. Just reading it. Ill maze. TMI. TMI, TMA, TMI. That is that is TMI. <laughs> Did I make a discounted lush order? I swear to God, if she could bark, she would. Let me see if I move away if she comes closer again. Oh, discontinued. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. No, I didn't... Because the stuff that I wanted, it's going to melt here. It's gonna, It's like, um... I want to get my... My strawberry, um... Bye, hun. I want to get, like, my strawberry... Oh, I did. Okay, then yes, I did. I did get stuff. Okay. Did I, Jules? How much is that lizard in the window? My mother-in-law wants to call her Elizabeth. Because she's a lizard. Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Okay, Frozen. I mean, yeah. I, I got a Frozen. I got a 93. And I, there's a few others. Okay. Actually, yes. My husband broke down and he bought me the perfume. And you will not believe how much it cost. And we were not able to pay the cable bill this month. <laughs> but uh, it, for my internet. But um, I'm paid up on my internet, so I'm fine. This just would have been an extra bit of money, so I wouldn't have to pay them next month. Um, <clears throat> but he took what we were going to put extra into the cable, so I wouldn't have to worry about it next month. And he bought me it, and it came out to almost $63. I was, like, blown away. Because it said $45 UK. 45 UK actually translates more in the U.S., so, your pounds to our U.S. currency, it came out to 63 and change with tax and total and shipping. Right. There was a chapter where they talk about having sex books and they describe... Yeah, Jules actually gave me some money towards getting it because I was short. But we thought we could use the shipping that wouldn't have been, like, track shipping... 
So Yeah, for one damn perfume. But it was the ginger one, and it's the one I'm in love with. One perfume. One. So Jules sent me some money, and we thought we could use the shipping. The non-track... Please, oh, you're freaking me out. The non-track shipping. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> 63? That's like strawberries for the rest of the year for me. <laughs> but, uh... She, uh... We thought we were going to use the less, the lesser shipping. It is, but the shipping to the U.S., I couldn't use that cheaper $8 shipping. I had to use, like, the almost $30 shipping. If you live in the U.S., like, Tony, if you go to purchase it right now and punch in my address, they don't let you use the untracked shipping. You have to use tracked shipping for a perfume. And that killed me. Like, just, I was just like, why can't I do it? Why can't I do it? And I was almost crying when I was talking to Jules about it. I was like, I'm so pissed off with Lush. How could they do this? It was bad. They do not let you use the untracked shipping. I was wigging the hell out behind it. And when I, I looked up his bank account afterwards, and I was like, what did we spend $63 on? He goes, that's your Lush. I was like, sorry. It was a $38 shipping. All right, so Jules, calculate 19 U.S. dollars, I mean 19 U.S. pounds to dollars. How much is that? Fuck a duck. <laughs> Lisa, look this way. You're freaking me out. Look, look this way, honey. Come here. Look this way, baby. So it would be 25, but is, wait, Ellis, is that 25, 25 pound or is that 25? Did you get the twisted alarm box? Okay, so it's 25 US plus 65, I mean plus 35, and then the tax, tax total, the whole nine. My puppy just threw up. Ew. So, Yeah. Fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. So yeah, tax total and everything is about sixty-three dollars. It hurt. <laughs> it hurt a lot. When I looked at the TD account afterwards, and I was like, "What the hell did we spend this money on?" Yeah, I found out, and he was not too happy about it. But I kept whining and bitching about it and complaining about it, and he didn't want to. He doesn't like to ever tell me, "No, you can't afford it." You know, no, we can't get it right now. So he wound up shortening one of the bills and making sure I could get it. And yes, I did get a Twisted Allure box thanks to a very dear friend, Rachel Babcock. She purchased it for me. She actually purchased me the box. Like, she, she bought me the Twisted Allure box. So many of my friends have, like, kicked in, helped out, like, really, like, I heard her, heard who, have really just, like, you know, completely, I don't know, done amazing things, and I'm like, like, how do I pay this back, you know? Yeah, I know. Oh, me bitching about my perfume. <laughs> I was so mad when I could not get it at that cheaper shipping. What, Tony? You got me a bearded lady? You gotta be joking me. That's one of my favorite bubble bars. Oh my god, thank you so much. Is that you thought you lost it, but you found it? <laughs> I love Bearded Lady. It's amazing. Oh my god. And for years, they would not put it back out again. Hello. For years, they would not put Bearded Lady back out again. Oh, Mary, thank you. See, so many, so many good people that I have out there. I've just been doing such amazing kind things lately for me, and I'm like, holy fuck, you know? 
Like, I do not know how in the hell I'm going to pay y'all back, but I will, I promise. Pineapple, pineapple, mango, and mint. Ooh. I still love the way the cilantro smells. Ellis, you need to contact them and ask them what the hell, because I don't think that's coming through. I mean, that's been, that's over two months now. Aw. Thank you, man. I'm still hunting for a black glittery unicorn. <laughs> I'm trying to find a black glittery unicorn for Mary. <laughs> yeah, Ellis, I'd be very upset too because that, that don't seem like it's coming through. Nightmares. Ha <laughs> ha, that's cute. But yeah, I am I am actually going to get that Twisted Allure box. Like, I only get paid, like, paid, paid, like, one time. And it's not a lot of cash. And I pay off, half of it goes to bills, the other half of it goes back into pinkies and businesses and things like that. So I don't get much money for myself. And friggin', uh, I was waiting for that time, but... Lisa, the owner of Twisted Allure, only kept that open until the end of July, and I don't get paid till the beginning of August. So, there you go. And I was so upset that I wasn't going to be able to get that box. I was asked, like, will you hold one for me? Da -da -da. And then Rachel just went ahead and purchased it. And I was like, oh my god. You know, like, she sent me a message and she was like, look what, look what I got or something like that. And I went, damn, you too with this box? I'll get it soon, don't worry. And then she goes, no, look. And I looked at the, the picture, I, I blew it up, and it was my address. So she was sending it to to the to the building. I was like, oh my god. But, uh, oh yeah, Tony, if you ever send me anything again, um, I gotta give you the 5368 address. Um, because there's, there's no point in sending it around to the front to the office. You can send it right through the front of this complex, right here. So this way I don't have to go to the office to get anything. Oh, hold on. My brother messaged. Hang on one second. I need to think about... How's my baby ball? Ooh. Okay, Tony. Okay, hold on. I'm texting. Hang on. Alrighty. Oh, the cashmere cotton and chamomile. Ooh. I'm telling you, man, that, that fresh cotton smell I'm in love with. I did. Easy, killer. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, Ellis, last comment? Where is Ellis's comment? I contacted them at the beginning of July, and they said it should show up on July 25th from the first week of June. Wow, that is long waiting. You need to... I would contact them again and tell them, uh, it's not here. And you guys need to give me back my cash. And I need to get the lizard out of my neck. You saw that, right? She, like, she dunked me. <laughs> she doesn't... She wants to be up your ass. The lizard just punched me in the face. <laughs> She's trying so hard to stay up my butt. Where's the baby? Okay. He's in the bed? Yeah, walking. He's blocked in? Yeah. Okay. Okay, awesome, man. I always love trying new companies. I get so excited. Yeah, Ellis, you usually get your packages pretty damn fast. Have you heard from Henry lately? I'm talking to Ellis. Little Henry, has he been around lately or is he still at camp? I think he's still at camp. I think camp's over the first week of August, right? 
I'm hoping mom took his package in. It's a three weeks of no junk food. Okay, yeah, he's still at camp. All right. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, man, I think I remember you sending me the link, but... What are you doing, baby? Put her back, huh? You put her back? Yeah. You like that candle? Yes. Rich likes the candle. Hello, hello. Yeah, you want to put Lisa back in her apartment? Okay, we're going to put Lisa back in her apartment, because she's, she's getting a little too cuddly for me. Lisa, baby, we got to go in there. Is she shit on you yet? No, she didn't shit on me. She, she shits on you, not she me. She hasn't fully accepted you yet. She hasn't fully accepted me. <laughs> no, that's how she shows that she loves me. She doesn't crap on me. No. Come here, baby. All right, baby. All right, all right. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. My favorite bath brand. I don't know. I have so many. I mean, there are so many amazing companies out there. Lush, hurry, indie hurry, companies. Hurry up. Take her. Yeah, lizard. Good night, Lise. Love you. I'll come get you later. My yellow submarine was crap. I mean, it was bad. It was so bad. But that's the problem with Lush, is that ow, sometimes you do get crappy batches, you know? Like, sometimes you get bad batches. Sometimes you get good batches. Let me shut off the heating pad. It's burning my butt now. Lush or lavish? Lavish. What do you mean, like the lavish bath box? Ooh, there's a weird shiny light on my nose. Ooh. Sorry. But the lavish bath box gives you stuff from a bunch of different companies. Right? They don't just make their own brand. That's that's from different companies, right? Because I just got my first lavish box. Oh, Ellis, I look like shit today, but thank you, hon. <laughs> okay, Candy. I'll talk to you later. Okay, yeah, so it is, they don't make their own, like, brand. They do, they send you stuff from all different companies. I really liked the whole idea of the lavish box. I really, really did. I really liked it. I thought it was really cool. Alright, whoa, stay, stay. <laughs> I'll look terrible, but thank you. <laughs> I'm definitely looking the way I'm feeling. I'm trying to hook you guys up to a box here. Alright. What is the, the next month's, hang on. Okay, I don't have the lizard on me no more, so I can take my shirt off. Yeah, they lavish is real fun. Like I, I had a blast with mine. Sorry, I just couldn't like keep a shirt on if I'm hot. Okay, Ellis. So I don't think. It may not have been announced, but Jules can message me what the next box is. Because Jules knows. I know she knows. What are you doing, baby? What the hell are you doing? He's like leaping around like a fucking fairy. He's like, boop, 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 boop. I expect him to sprout wings any minute. <laughs> I'm running a bath right now. See, you a smart man. Brit Stapleton. You know, we have a town out here called Stapleton. Come back up. Not topless. I got a tank top on, but. <laughs> Hi, Vic. Oh, okay. Yes, I am desperately excited for that one. Okay, she just told me what it was. Yes, your last name is actually a, um, a town out here in New York called Stapleton. It's not a nice town, trust me, but it is a town. I'm liking this facial serum stuff. And just a little tiny bit goes everywhere. 
Oh, thanks, Vic. Vic, I'm, I've actually been live now for three hours and ten minutes. Um, and Jules, you're going to be in this next one, right? You're featured in it, correct? Oh, okay. You know, so a lot of people are not getting the notifications. If I didn't know, I did not know it. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are not getting the notifications, so you may want to hit the unsubscribe and then subscribe again. Oh, Ellis, I've done that plenty of times. Yeah, YouTube is being a pain in the ass lately. Um, Jules is going to be doing, a, I believe, a bath bomb in the in the next month, in the next lavish. She's doing a bath bomb for them. I gotta get Pat to make me like a like a facial serum, only in like a hair serum, like a hair oil. That's what I gotta do. Yep, she's doing a bomb. Okay. I actually did a live one day in a friggin' sports bra. <laughs> Nobody could see, because all they could see was, like, my shoulders and my head, but... I had, I been, had to bend down to pick up my kid, and friggin' everybody was like, oh, there we go, yeah. I just, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever time it is. Oh, thank you. I hope you're having a good day or night, too. It is actually 11.31 here right now. It's almost time for me to go drag my ass to bed. I actually really enjoyed my lavish box. Oh, I know. <laughs> I have seen some odd things at the beach. I mean, I'm a big woman, too, and I'm not going to be walking around in a thong-ass bikini, but I have seen a very large woman with a piece of lycra shoved up her ass. It was not that great. I'm actually really enjoying the lavish box. I mean, I really, really like it. Oh. You know, because I, I, majority of my life is bath products, I can't really pick one theme, but I would have to say I think the fall is one of my most favorites. Oh, thank you, Vic. Yep, we're still here, Tay. <laughs> I think the fall is one of my favorite, favorite months, or, or most, you know, most enjoyed months. One, it's cold outside, so of course you want to be in the tub. And two, all the full scents come out. What was in the April showers box? I didn't. This, this was my first. Oh, the lily pad bubble bar. Who did the lily pad bubble bar? Was that from what company was that? I remember you showing me the lily pad bubble bar. But what company did it? Yeah, right? Oh, you have a YouTube channel too? Awesome. I'm going to have to go check that out. Oh, poor Ellis. I keep unwrapping this more and more and more and more because I'm going to take it into the shower with me. <laughs> I'm going to actually open this one fully so I can show it to you. It's really pretty. I'm always I'm always on video with somebody or live with somebody or talking. Corinne, did you subscribe to me? Yep. I have subscribed to you, man. Okay, so I have to open this and show you. Because it's so pretty, pretty how she did the stamp. I know, one more to say. Look at the stamp that she put in. Can you see it? It's like a gold. It's the raven sitting on the tree. And then it says a Tanglewood name. Jaden's. Okay, it was Jaden's. Okay. Oh, I'll be able to find it. Because all I'll, I'll be able to just push your face on here. TP! 
Hello, how have you been? Did you get a chance to take a peek at that new pearl company? Look how pretty the top is on this. This is why I'm saying this is like the perfect wedding like favor. It's so beautiful. And that clean cotton smell. I love the print. I love the stamp on it. I really do. I think that's so pretty. Tanglewood. Hello, Jules. Oh, thank you, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm telling you, there is going to be more going up on the on that that KC site. There is going to be plenty of plenty and plenty of more going up. Um, I hear they are going to release a new item every other week or something like that, or every week. Um, but there's going to be more new cool items coming up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is almost three and a half hours we've been on here talking. And I want to go jump in the shower with my clean cotton soap. Because it just smells that damn good. I can't get over the, how pretty the top of that is. <laughs> I'm going to be poor forever. <laughs> my favorite video that I made... I don't know. I like all the videos that I do. Um, I like doing the, um, when I used to do the smash it Sunday ones, basically where I take a bath bomb and smash it and look and see what, what's inside it and everything. I kind of like that. Oh, <laughs> yes. Tanglewood soap. I'm going to jump in the shower with your clean cotton bar right now. I'm going to take a quick shower right now, pass out for the evening, and then tomorrow is going to be my bomb demo day. <sighs> Tell him the store, honey. The store. How do you get more subs? You just go out there and mingle. You can leave uh, comments underneath my videos, any one of my videos if you want, stating that you have a channel. Um, have people come subscribe. I don't care. People do that all the time, and I, that doesn't bother me at all. I think it's a good good way of doing it, you know? <laughs> when will I be live next? Um, hmm, maybe tomorrow for a little bit. Um, I just kind of go live at random, you know? Like, whenever... Whenever, whenever, I just go live. I do it a lot for my Facebook, too. I just get bored and say, you know something? This needs to go on YouTube, or I need to jump on and talk, or something like that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I actually have to jump on and go live right before Pinkies opens. Do I have a favorite purpled colored bath bomb? Purple colored? I mean, yeah, I like I like all of my purple bombs. Purple is a, a gorgeous color in the bath. Uh, I haven't a clue. Uh, West Coast time. I think you guys are what behind me in an hour or so, or two hours. West Coast. I'm in New York, so I think you guys are two hours back. Um, tomorrow night, probably about six my time, so it would probably be about five your time, or four your time. Sorry, oh three hours. Damn. So if Shauna, what, do you, what time do you think we're gonna launch Pinkies again? I'm two hours and they're two hours behind me. Okay, so probably about five or six-ish your time, and I'll probably launch Pinky using my time about eight o'clock-ish. And I'll have to jump on for a little bit and let everybody know that it's live, you know, and they can jump on my shop and, and go shopping. Oh, that smells too good. But, uh, I can't help it. Like, I'm, like, really addicted to the smell. 
Uh, so, hmm, yeah. So about that time. <laughs> All right, guys. It has been almost three and a half hours that we have just been on here just bullshitting and talking. And uh, I am going to go play with my new soap. Uh, I have way too many bars of soap not to go play with one. So I am going to go jump in a quick shower and play with this guy for a little while and see how... Please go live on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to go live YouTube and probably Facebook at the same time. I'm going to try and do both at the same time. If not, I'll do one and then the other after. But uh, I will talk to you guys later. Love yous all. Have a good night. And uh, I'm going to go take a bath. Or actually, I'm going to be going to take a shower. So I will talk to you guys all later. And thanks for hanging out. Thanks for coming out. And thanks for having fun. Bye. Adios, amigos. See you later. Hasta mañana. Das for Danya. All the nice stuff. See you later. Bye. <laughs>